it work, guys? Sorry. The, I have a problem here. Difficulty, peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming clear. Um, let me know, please, if the sound is coming good from your side. <clears throat> Are we good? Let's see? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I don't know if you hear the music, the start of music, as usual. Uh, but from my side, I have difficulty, so I could not really uh, hear anything for some reason. Um, let us check and see what's happening. All right. I think now we are good to go. <clears throat> uh, input. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, I think we're good to go now. All right. Uh, as you see, we have today a topic is what Allah He wants from us. And I hope the Muslims will start calling us soon uh, to discuss this issue. You know, the purpose of uh, religions, uh, supposedly, that there is something you need to do in order to get something it's like you know exchange of uh, benefit you believe in certain god or whoever that god is and then this god he provide you with a benefit this is a simple logic but not all believe are the same if we go right now and search what the muslims really believe about allah why allah he created us as an example what is the purpose of a creating a human being? Because it's, if Allah is the true God, as the Muslims claim, then there is a purpose of His creation. <clears throat> I'm not going to read for you what I, I'm saying. I'm not going to make a statement from my own. Uh, you know, I'm going to show you what the Muslims really um, believe. All right. Whatever they believe, this is their belief. I'm not going to really to tell them uh, what you believe. No. They know better what they are believing in. In the front of us, we have, let us see, I will show you on the screen. Please start inviting your friends. I did not uh, post in Facebook yet that we are live on air. So um, please invite your friends and share the link with everybody uh, so we can inform others that we are here <clears throat> so in front of us here there is a question made by Muslim and the question is very simple why we are created the reason why man can be created <clears throat> all Muslims agree that the creation was made for very simple reason according to Islam uh, except that Allah he want you and us to worship him and to be his slaves <clears throat> you can continue reading the article which supposedly is where you, you get the answer from <clears throat> it says it clearly that this is the reason of a creation and this is all Muslims it doesn't matter which website you read it from all of them agree upon that the reason for creation uh, so his slaves worship him which mean the God of Islam he have one purpose And the purpose is to worship him no other purpose and to worship him mean and to be his slave mean that you are totally a slave you are not exist except your your, your chance of existence is limited to a slave this is your title and if you don't obey Allah Allah will make you a barbecue <clears throat> Allah will insert a chain in your anus as the Quran says 
uh, Allah is going to extract the chain from your nose and from your mouth so everything in Islam is based on slavery to God I wish I can play for you some uh, some Muslim videos because they are more hilarious and more funny but because we cannot play Muslim videos you know they complain about copyright as usual so we will try just to show you what Muslims really believe as you see I'm just changing and flipping pages in the internet I'm not choosing or picking up my cherries it's uh it's what the Muslims believe you can uh, yourself uh, freeze the text uh, the screen uh, you can search the page I'm showing you and you can find that this is really what Muslims believe uh, <clears throat> let us see you see I know all of you Muslims are saying to worship Allah etc so now the question is do we have a big long talk on why we are created and when we all know it is to worship Allah <clears throat> so this here they, they have a discussion about like okay why we are created to worship Allah what is the purpose you know if we are created to worship Allah and this is the only reason for a creation then we have a problem the problem is can be uh, summarized in uh, in a very simple word the Quran as you see in front of you <clears throat> in chapter 51 verse number 56 it says and this is the answer actually from the Quran not from me we did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship us so there's no other uh, reason most of them they can start giving you reasons uh, you know left or right but the Quran says it clearly the only reason Allah he created you if he is the true God as Muslims they claim is just to worship him nothing more nothing less and this is why he created not only you even the other kind which is called genie in Islam Muslims they believe in the jinn which is nothing but a fiction now here uh, this is statement which is coming from the God of Islam this is not a statement Muslims can deny and say I don't accept that you know I don't believe in this uh, Allah he created me because he loved me and this is not true Allah he created me because uh, he's wonderful that's not true Allah created you for no other reason as he said word by word except to worship him now the problem will be in the following if Allah created you only to worship him and there's no other reason if we try to analyze this statement coming from the one you Muslims call him God Aka Allah why does God he need to create me and you to worship him is that based on need think with me carefully please did he create us because he need us to worship him the Muslim they will say no way Allah do not need anything well it, it says there I created you for nothing except to worship me that's mean it's a need everything happened for a reason and as long as he told us a reason that is his needs this God I remember once uh, a Muslim he debated me he's an uh, african-american uh, Muslim and then he left Islam after I showed him how stupid this cult is and he made a video in YouTube maybe you can find his name is a sword of Allah you can search his video he made a video and he said uh, I'm sick of this God I mean what's wrong with this God he created us to be his slave his slaves who need to worship him and what a kind of a lonely God 
and I found his statement is very interesting even though like he is just using uh, he is using some words I, I, I said to him before but it's a truly explore to us the nature of the God of Islam if he is a true God now regardless by the way he is a true God or not that will not change anything because he is the one saying to us I created you for this reason so deal with it <clears throat> That is the only reason I did not create you for anything else. That's all. So, when I say to you, I created you for this reason, that to present my reason, and for you, I'm not explaining my reason to discuss it, I'm explaining my reason to do my reason, which means to worship and to be my slaves. Let me show you more, more reference. <clears throat> Let us see. I'm just trying to find you. some reference <clears throat> there's by the way tons of Muslim website and you know all right this website is Khalij news it's an article from Khalij news all right let us show you the website here in the top Khalid News. All right. And in Khalid News, they are discussing how you can be successful successful to go to heaven and like how you can earn heaven. What is the how we can get into heaven? All right. Now you will see here it says Allah wanted only and the only thing from his slaves. His slaves read carefully Allah created not the jinn and mankind except they should worship him alone so what Allah he want he want you to be a slave and that a slave he have nothing to do in life except worshiping him alone I find that this statement is very disturbing and exploring to us the nature of this God, which is a very weird, uh, ill person who is selfish and he is lonely and he decided to create some creatures and he put them in the in, in the front of him and you know, okay, uh, uh, worship me and uh, you know, I created you only to worship me. So now we are created and he is there and we have one duty to do is to worship him. I mean, is that even fair? Is that is that fair? What's wrong with this God? Why he created us to worship him? And this is the only thing he wanted from us You see the Bible speak about God. He loved the world. He loved all of us He wanted us to share with him his glory to share with him his kingdom Even the Bible teach us that we as a Christians. We are the child children of God uh, I can accept the word slave of God as a metaphorical meaning of being obedient and by choice But in Islam, no, you are a slave of Allah and you are Required only you, you, there's no reason for you for your existence. Allah don't care really about uh, your emotion your life uh, uh, You don't care about justice. You don't care about fear. He care only that I created you only to worship me so the simple question I'm asking the Muslims is why he created us only to worship him What is the point of this creation? What Allah accomplished after he made us? Created and then he ordered us to worship him Do we have any Muslim would like to call? What the accomplishment Allah tried to get what what, what he is getting from this? Okay, he created us and he want us to worship him. That is the only reason. There's no other reason 
why Allah he needed such a thing if Allah is God and the Muslim they say to us Allah is self self sustained you know he do not need anything obviously this is not true if Allah do not need anything then he will not create us only to worship him only to worship him so the creation of mankind was based on the needs of Allah which is he needed to be worshipped you know what I mean that is a selfish statement from a mad person he's trying to fool us and saying to us uh, I am a person who is suffering from mental illness and I don't care for anything except I made you to be like a, you know I don't want to use like words which is harsh but think about it you see uh, when you own a dog when you own a dog even he's a dog you feel his pain if he is in pain you care for him you feed him and you love him actually he is not your slave you know there is many people most of people who own dogs if their dogs die they cry as if they lost a, lost a baby the relationship between Allah and his slaves in Islam is not even the same as relationship between a human being and his dog his the dog in a human being relationship is more beloved and more respected even though he's an animal and his brain is limited and you know he understand uh, life in different way uh, but still you know we don't bring a dog to our house to worship us this is not what he is made for and he is not there for this reason it is an exchange of relationship even though he is a dog he run around you he show you how much he miss you you show him how much you miss him you feed him he jump happy he thank you he defend you that is a dog so why Allah don't even respect you Muslims and don't even consider me the same consider you as the same as a dog relationship Any Muslim would like to explain to us this is the reason for God to create us that is the most silly reason ever this God is in needs this God he needed somebody to worship him so he created you if Allah don't need worshipers then why he created the worshipers I just got this news one minute, one one hour ago. Here it says in the front in the front of me, uh, the Muslims they killed two Christians in Pakistan. Thank you, Muslims, for your uh, decent religion and your peaceful Islam. Two Christians in in Pakistan killed just today. This has happened every Sunday. Last Sunday it was four Christians. I think they attacked him in a church. Very very peaceful, beautiful religion. And they think, you know. You see here actually I need to add that this is the statement in the Quran about I did not create you except to worship me but this is not really the only thing Allah in the Quran as an example chapter 9 verse 29 he says clearly what he want from the Muslims additional to to worship him he want them to be killers go and kill the Christians the Jews whoever don't believe in Allah and the last day and his messenger so he created the Muslims to be his slaves and now the slaves have a duty is to do mischievement in earth how this can be God if this is what God he asked for to go and hate and kill people around you what Satan do for living any Muslim What Satan does? Who is the one now doing killing everywhere? Is that Satan? You see, we blame Satan for everything, all right? 
but let us assume for the sake of argument Satan is not Allah yeah just for the sake of argument now if Satan is not Allah so why Allah he do order people to do the act of Satan what the Muslims now accomplished to Allah by killing two Christians in Pakistan two poor Christians in Pakistan they have no guilt except they are going to a church to pray what that will accomplish to Allah hmm? but remember the Muslims when they kill those Christians they are not really doing it from their own this is what Allah told them the Quran full of verses about killing Christians and Jews and Hindus and you know the Quran for sure never mentioned the word Hindu or Buddha or even you know but uh, 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 because Muhammad he never heard of uh, such a religion he know a religion but they don't know them by name uh, go and kill you are my slave and you are my servant and not only that if you kill I promise you not only you will go to heaven you will get extra vagina what kind of God is God is that really a God I want to follow is that God will make a human being life better to the point I'm worried about going to the store to buy some stuff because I might find somebody driving his truck and shouting Allahu Akbar he want to go over uh, over my body how that can help a human being do we have any Muslim any Muslim would like to call us you see here we give the Muslims the chance to prove us wrong we don't do what the Muslims do the Muslims they have a programs and TV stations they don't allow anyone who have knowledge of Islam to call yet they say live in their TV please if you have a question call us and when I call they don't let me go through we don't do that People, they will hear your call when you call me in Skype and they will hear me answering you as we speak. Who is the Muslim want to do that? If there is any Muslim, he is willing to show us something. One thing is a truthful in this religion. why only in the religion of Islam people they jump from happiness when somebody is slaughtered I remember you know when tsunami happened in uh, in Indonesia uh, at that time the news came that tsunami hit Thailand so the Muslims opened chat rooms in Paltok and it was filled with hate where the Muslims celebrating the death of thousands and thousands of people in Thailand few hours later the Muslims discover that the most of those who get killed in that tsunami it was Muslims so they changed the name of their chat rooms from Allah punishing the kuffar from listen listen the hypocrisy from Allah punishing the kuffar to let us pray for the life of our brothers and sisters in Indonesia who died suddenly Suddenly, the Muslims they are showing sorrow. Why? Because they heard that the majority of those who get killed in that tsunami it was Muslims. Not only that, the Muslims they posted in the internet satellite pictures of tsunami, which is killing people in that tsunami, and they show you the word Allah. Actually, I can't find it. Let me let me find it for you. Hold on. Let me let me search for those articles because they are still there. I think. You know, let us see. Oh. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. I found an article. I'm going to read for you what this article is saying. Nothing, nothing of my own. 
whatever there I never actually opened this website before uh, this is a respond let us see here Nah, it just looked like it's not really a full article, it's just a statement. Hold on. I found this one. Now I want to find the one with the picture. Mm, hold on, hold on. The problem those websites are full of advertising okay all right let's see Where is the picture? Mm. Okay. Okay, here we go. I found uh, the picture, but it's a small picture. I want to find a big one. Hold on. Why oh, it's getting harder. All right, here we go. Let me show you. The Muslims claim, if you look at the wave here, that this wave is the name of Allah. This is the name of Allah. According to the Muslims. And Allah here is punishing those who disbelieve in him in Thailand because they are Buddha. So he killed them all. But this is was for the few first a few hours of the news about tsunami. The Muslim they start fabricating shish kebab falafel about the name of Allah as written there. I don't even say where anywhere it says Allah. However, the name of Allah. Right after the Muslims they heard the news that the one was killed. Really, the majority of them it was Muslims. The Muslims don't want to show us this picture no more and they don't want to believe that Allah killed the Muslims. Islam were the greatest religion. Allah written in Arabic into Sana and Tsunami. Wave miracle of Allah. Wave miracle of Allah. We'll show them our signs. See the Muslims. See the proof. Do you see the proof? Guys, read, read, read this is an article. So the Muslims are saying it clearly that this is a punishment from Allah, and Allah even he write his name in tsunami, killing as many as he can. But those Muslims who made this article, they did when the news supposedly it was the one who killed is from Thailand. But then they noticed that the one, the majority of those killed, more than 95% actually. It was from Indonesia right away they changed their statement and they washed their hands from those articles so those articles are exist you know uh, you know some of them they are just based on stupidity after tsunami but especially during the tsunami time the Muslim they start posting article like crazy about how Allah punish the kuffar by tsunami now 
maybe sometime you might see a uh, Christian believe that uh, God he can punish uh, by a disaster but you know they see this is not this is not really true if you read the stories in the Bible you will see that if there is only one decent man the, the, what one decent person lived in the city of Lut just one then that city will not be destroyed there's no way God is going to do that People, they, especially the Muslims, they are desperate trying to find their God. They cannot find their God anywhere. So they are trying to find him in a place where we can find him. Let us look for him in a potato. Look, let us look for him in a uh, in a shish kebab. Uh, I opened the apple. I found the name of Allah. Uh, I, uh, you know, I was uh, cooking an egg and I broke the egg. I found the name of Allah. Uh, there's a goat have the name of Allah on it. Uh, there's a tree is praying down to Allah. They have they have obsession of trying to find a reason to believe in Allah, but they cannot find that reason. I remember even after tsunami and the Muslim found out that the most of who killed it was Muslims. The Muslims made videos, and actually, here we go. I found it. <coughs> they say, Look, brother Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar every everything destroyed except the mosque. Do you see the mosque? They say to you Everything destroyed by the tsunami except the mosque Abdul the mosque is made from concrete. This is why I did not fail tsunami will not take concrete down Those houses made from wood poor people this house this mosque is is, is built by Saudi Arabia is made from concrete all the houses around is made from wood poor people so they are destroyed this is how much madness they have tsunami came to many countries houses made from wood they will flee with the water they will they will you know they will the water will carry them a house is made from concrete will stay and this house is made from concrete that house is the house of Allah supposedly not because you know because how many times the Kaaba itself destroyed my friend so are you telling me that Allah he protect this mosque but he don't protect his Kaaba how many times the Kaaba was destroyed if we go right now and we search in a prophet Google let us do so hmm. how many times Kaaba was destroyed I'm not going to read for you from any Website except Muslims website Never okay, let us see I will find you a Muslim website There's a guy actually, Al Hajjaj, he destroyed the Kaaba, Al Qurmuti, he destroyed the Kaaba. Let us start with the Qurmuti. All right. This is an article made by Abdul. This is Islam. About Islam the website is about Islam. This is the name of the website. All right. Why will Allah allow the Kaaba to be destroyed? Okay And supposedly here this is about the judgment day all right But the fact The Kaaba was destroyed many times during the history of Islam and one of the time actually which is very nice uh, action happened by a guy his name is al qurmuti and I say it's very nice because this al qurmuti he exposed the lies of Muhammad that Allah is protecting the Kaaba by flying birds as we read in the chapter of the elephant the chapter of the elephant named this way because supposedly there's an army coming from Ethiopia to destroy the Kaaba and this army was destroyed by Allah by sending birds who they are th send, you know, throwing rocks at the, at, at the army so they killed all the army and they destroy every single person in that army but here how Allah he protect 
the Kaaba huh? but yet according to this Quran story but yet he did not protect the Kaaba from Al Qurmati and Al Hajjaj and, uh, and many. Uh, let us see. I don't want to show you from any website except Muslim website. Actually, I made a video about it. Uh, Muslim Sheikh, he was speaking about the Kaaba being destroyed. Um, let us see where is the story of Al Qurmuti. Hmm. Let us try a different search. Ah, it's saying Al Qurtubi. I, I type Al Kurmuti, Google correct mistakenly. Kurmuti. Okay. Uh, Actually, here in this website, but this is just a normal answer. I want I want to get uh, uh, a Muslim website. This is a, actually this is a video me myself I made many years ago. It's called Kaaba destroyed. Black stone was a stoning. Uh, this is a video made long long time ago. Actually, not even 2012. It's posted here 2012, but it I made it like maybe I don't know 15 years ago. Uh, let us see. Hmm. Okay, let us see here. Maybe if we search using those keywords, that will help. The point I'm trying to find you something in English, you know. Uh, okay. Here is the like it's a uh, you know uh, article, but still I want to find the Islamic website. Let us see. I wish I can play the video for you. Because the Muslim there, the Sheikh, is explaining to you how the black stone was stolen. Uh, this is a video here. I don't want that. Actually, there's a movie. There's a movie in YouTube about the Kaaba destruction. Okay. Uh, this is a post by a Muslim. Mm, not sure why we are having a hard time to find Muslim website talking about it. You see, all those videos are Muslim videos. I can play them for you. But the problem is, you know, Muslims always they claim copyright over their videos. Al Kaaba has destroyed, and the black stone was stolen by Al Qurmuti. All right, and this is the name of the Sheikh, Sheikh Zaid Al Bahri. All right. All those, you know, you, you can search yourself, and you can you will find. For me. I can in uh, if on a search in Arabic, I can find the reference in two in two uh, like uh, in, in second. Let's see. 
to all those websites right away they will tell you the story of al qurmati this is a sheikh here explain how the qurmati destroyed the kaaba uh, all those websites do you know that the Kaaba destroyed at least four times? This is a Muslim website from Egypt. Uh, Al Qaramita was al Hajj al Aswad, the Qaramita and the still in the Black Stone. All right. Uh, let us see. All, all those websites, they are Islamic websites speaking about the Black Stone being stolen. And Al Qurmati, not only he stole the Black Stone. He took it and he used it as a bathroom stone for more than 20 years. Imagine. So when the Muslim they say to us the Kaaba wasn't destroyed in the tsunami, and then we sorry, the, the uh, a mosque as we saw in the picture, but then we find that you know the Kaaba itself was destroyed, and not only that, Al Qurmati during the time when he was destroying the Kaaba, he stand in the in the in the yard of the Kaaba. In the top of the stones of the Kaaba, and he was screaming to Allah, saying, Hey Allah, where is your birds? Huh? Where is your birds who throw stones? Which means you are a liar. You are a liar. Where is your birds? So, this Al Hajjaj, uh, Al Qurmati, when he did that thing, Islam shrink big time, and a lot of people left Islam because they discovered that this is a joke, this is a lie. The Kaaba is, is not is not the house of God and it's not protected. So why why the Quran says Allah He protect the Kaaba by what it's called in the, in the chapter of the elephant, hmm? but He did not protect the Kaaba when it was full by Muslims. Allah He protect the Kaaba when it was full by idols. Three hundred more than three hundred sixty idols around the Kaaba. So Allah in chapter of the elephant, chapter uh, 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 one hundred five. Is speaking about how Allah do you know what Allah did to the people of the field people of the elef elephant huh do you know how we did destroy them do you know how we send the f-16 jet look God he is sent f-16 are you sure Allah he protected the Kaaba by sending fighting birds and what how they fight what is their missiles they strike with the stone back to clay I mean how how it's backed the, the bird they back the clay and they carry it obviously this is a fiction stupid story I'm not going to ask how an elephant can go in the desert to Mecca I mean elephant in Mecca elephant in Saudi Arabia do you know how many gallon of water elephant he need Muslims, do you know how many gallon of water the elephant you need? You need about 600 gallon of water a day, an average. And not only that, he need to call himself, not only by spraying himself with water or drinking the water, he need to go down in the water during the day. Which means you have to find him a, like a, 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 a place where he can jump in the water. How that can happen in Saudi Arabia? Where is the water? Elephant walking in Saudi Arabia in the desert. Who is the stupid here who want to believe such a garbage? This is a fiction story, a legion story about an army came with elephant to destroy the house of God. <clears throat> Muhammad, he took it, he make it as it is about his Kaaba. And there's birds who came, and those birds they did throw rocks. At the enemy, and we killed all his army. What a nice story! Uh, by the way, uh, Saudi, why you are buying uh, uh, the Crown Prince? He just bought, uh, spent one hundred point one billion dollar to buy airplanes and missiles from USA. Why you need them? You have the flying birds. Why you need them? Who dare to go to Saudi Arabia? The birds of Allah, they are going to defend the Kaaba. You can, by the way, search for the video on YouTube about destroying the Kaaba, and you will find the video there saying that clearly, in a clear statement. So, you know, the Muslims, there is something unique about them. They always come 
with fiction stories trying to imply that this is coming from Allah tsunami is from Allah my friend number one people in the world who die is Muslims the average of life in Mecca is very low people they live on the you know the average the average of age in Mecca is 55 60 maximum the average of age in Europe is 80 85 90 Allah is not helping you they lie to us there is there is a there is a video made by Muslims speaking that in Mecca there is no cancer like what what brother in Mecca there is no cancer go and check it out in Mecca Muhammad he said that uh, uh, in Mecca the, the disease is called what I forgot the name it like it's like a flu it killed a lot of people before I forgot what the name in, in English so Muhammad he promised them that did this disease the yellow uh, yellow fever yellow something will never come to Mecca but Mecca in certain time was very much divested by this uh, 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 by this disease fictions and Muslims they love fiction like now in Syria let's, let's see what happened in Syria why Allah did not defend the Muslims in Syria against the Assad if he is being unjust why Allah needed the American and the British and the French the Kuffar to attack where is the logic there your God Allah is not there where we can find Allah and remember they are the one they are involving their God in everything so to go back to our topic the God of Islam supposedly he created us to worship to worship him in the same time he wanted us to kill each other to hate each other to slaughter each other because this is the only thing make him happy it's like this God the same as a Stalin you know Stalin every morning they give him a paper signed and he signed it about an execution at least of 6,000 people and if the number is less than 6,000 he wonder what's wrong so every morning in order to serve Allah we have to kill a lot of a human being we have to do how many car explosion in the last 24 hours how many car explosion how many death how many terrorist attack all of this because Allah he ordered us to do this why Allah uh, if Allah don't want the kuffar why he don't punish the kuffar okay you are God you can say one word and they will go what about Allah do it why Allah he needed the Muslims to do it this God is not a, this not a God is is a joke You know when you read that the Muslim believe that Allah created them only to worship him that make me think about Allah as the following let us uh, uh, let us make a space here hold on a space for a drawing let us open the keyboard you know me I'm very good in art you know as you know So Allah, He created us to worship Him. Let us draw this. Let us draw it. <clears throat> this is Allah. He was in the beginning alone. We will draw Allah as Muhammad described him. He is a God who have one foot. He have two hands in the right side. Every hand have five fingers. Those are the fingers of Allah. And then Allah, he decide to create for himself a chair. And then Allah he decide to write the name of Muhammad on the chair Now 
let us put that for Allah to make him happy we will make the text small because the chair is small now okay Muhammad I will I will write the word in Arabic to Allah he put the name of Muhammad all over his chair now Allah after he finished the chair he decided to create the pen this is Allah pen let us make it in blue Allah he created a pen and then Allah he ordered the pen to write everything so now the pen start writing a lot of writing and then Allah after he wrote everything he said to himself let me create a human being so now the human being they start coming like eggs he created first Adam and Eve all right let us let us make Adam this is Adam he was fat at that time you know because Adam he was like doing nothing in heaven he just eating having sex nothing to do and watch TV big Billy and then this is Eve and Eve she was very big too you know because she nothing to do And her breast is very huge, you know, like it's like a balcony, mashallah. And her legs very big. And now Adam and Eve they had sex. And now we have babies, 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 babies. However, I don't want to forget the story of the babies. Anyone remember the story of the babies of Adam and Eve in Islam? Who remember the story of Adam and Eve? Who remember? If you remember it, I'm going to give you a reward. Who remember what happened? Okay, hold on. Look like you guys, your memory is not doing good. All of you are old. I'm the only young between you here. What I can do? Yeah, twin, thank you. Adam according to, uh, to Islam when he had sex with his wife Eve this is Eve let us draw Eve now she is giving delivery Eve is sleeping in her belly and this is her head her head is funny here I know okay here her belly is big you know and this is her legs one leg in the left and one leg in the right each time she deliver she squeezed two babies. How many? Two babies. One is male. One is male. And one is female. And by the way, I changed any Muslim to say this is not true. One is male. And one is female. All right, mashallah. Every twin, all our twin, boing, 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 boing. You know, they come like boing. Hey, Adam, I got you two babies. Ho, ho, ho. What is that? Male and female? 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 Yes, Adam, it's the wish of Allah. Now, after Adam having the first two male and female, so he have now double twin, which means each twin have one male, one female. So now we have two male, two male, and two female. However, we have a problem. According to Muhammad, those two males, hold on. I mean, why I'm why I'm telling the story in a cartoon where we I should tell you how it is in a more, more authentic. What do you think? Who is a Muslim in the screen down in the in the chat? Don't uh, 
I'm making fun of the Bible. No, I'm not making fun of the Bible. Anyone who think I'm making fun of the Bible, get lost. Because this story have nothing to do with the Bible, unless you are stupid. In the Bible, it doesn't say that God created the chair and He sat on it, and God have five fingers and He created the pen, and God He wrote the name of Muhammad in His chair, unless you are an idiot. Now. And that doesn't say that Adam and Eve, each time they have sex, they have a baby. They are twin, one male and one female. So if you think this is a story coming from the Bible, that means you are a donkey. With my respect to all donkeys in the world. We continue. Now we have two females and two males, but each one of them is a twin. Which means each twin is one male, one female. However, Allah is all wise and all knowledgeable. Allah, he made this for a very simple reason. Supposedly, Allah is very conservative God, very, very conservative. So the plan of Allah is, as long as every twin, twin, sorry, my writing is not good, is one male and one female, one male and one plus one female, all right? However, Allah, he don't like this male to marry his sister from his twin. So what the wisdom of Allah is that this male will marry the twin of the other brother. Ooh. Supposed to now she is not his sister. I mean, this is really wise. This is really, really, really very, very wise. So Allah, he decided this as a plan because he is very conservative and he don't like to see the male and the female having sex to together and they are twin that's disgusting but what happened that one of the female twin she has a cross eyes let me make it more close for you so you might understand this is the female sister of Cain and her eyes is a cross eyes like when she look at you you think she is looking at the moon and her hair is coming up like crazy and she have a very huge mouth and big teeth hmm? and it's, i mean she is really really scary so now the two males are fighting over the pretty male, female. The two brothers, they are fighting over the one who have no cross eyes. I mean, who in the world want to marry a woman across eyes? Actually, me, I will marry her. Why not? If a woman, she have a cross eyes, what the problem? I mean, is it her fault? So what? At least she will not notice what I'm doing. At least if I have an enemy is watching me, he will not know if she is looking at him or looking at the other side. What the problem? So now we have two brothers are fighting over a sister. She is a pretty and the other sister. She is ugly. So Allah, he come with a solution. Allah, he told the two brothers to provide a sacrifice. The sacrifice is coming. This is a chicken. One, he brought a goat. Meh, meh, and the other one he brought some zucchini, uh, potato, uh, tomato, uh, apples, you know, and he put them in a dish. And this guy he put the goat in a dish for Allah. Allah he sent fire from the sky to tell the one which one he accept his sacrifice, and he took the sacrifice of the guy who provided the goat. The fire came, blue, blue, blue barbecue the goat and ate it which mean Allah he refused the sacrifice of the other person who gave vegetables don't ever Allah is not a vegetarian take a note Muslims am I lying Allah is not a vegetarian just take a note otherwise you tell me why he don't accept you see, you Muslims, in Christianity, God, uh, he accepted uh, uh, the sacrifice of uh, Abraham, 
and he slaughter uh, you know a sheep right mm. but in Christianity is symbolic for the coming of Jesus etc now in Islam Allah he took it where what he did with it what, what the sacrifice for all, all of this just because a guy two guys fighting over a girl and one of those girls are have a cross eyes and she's ugly now who of you here don't believe in the story who in here he have a suspect that this story exists in Islam anyone who is a Muslim believe that this story never exists I'm fabricating things any Abdul how are you my my brother Yunus are you there how are you Yunus good to have you my friend everybody give a blessing ask the Lord for blessing our brother Yunus he is a person who left Islam yesterday during our chat with him he is a wonderful uh, 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 person who accepted the Christ and now he is saved from the false fiction stupid stories of Islam all right so we are happy for him and we are good you know it's good to have him feel free to call me anytime Yunus so now the challenge is who is the Muslim he dare to say that I'm lying anyone who is the Muslim there to say that this is a stupid story is not exist in Islam you are lying and you are fabricating lies who want to do that anyone okay look like the Muslims they don't have any they cannot debate it you know any what you know what why I want why I want to do this let me show you the story from the origin books. Do you want to see it from the from their books? Who want to see the story from the books? Give me one if you want to see the story from the books. Actually, I was talking about it uh, now when I was talking uh, doing the proofreading for my book. Who want to see the story? Who who is the Muslim want to call us and read the story? I will make you read it for us. Hmm? Let us go and see the story from the books of Muslims. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to lose this amazing drawing. So I'm, not, I'm going to take a snapshot. Hold on. Actually, I'm, th I'm thinking to sell this in Amazon. I can make a lot of money from this. Look at this, man. I am really, truly attached. This is art. Uh, uh, this is really, really art. Hold on. I did not put my signature. I, I mean, you know, I, I'm sure many of you will will take it and sell it, you know, without uh, my permission. Okay, this is my signature. A J Joe Oda me do uh, this is Arabian name guys Arabian name is like 2000 names oh I had to write the name of my grandfather too yeah I'm Muhammad Hassan Ashish Kebab Shush Palafel Okay, Khadar, Kharun, Wadi, Karam, Imona. I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish soon. You can take a nap. No, uh, no I'm just, I'm just writing the first name. Abuz, Asino, you know, Alhamdulillah, Asinahi Muhammad, Hassan, Ali, Ma Adri. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. I, I, will, I will continue later. I will continue later. Okay. I mean, I cannot. Uh, okay. For late, for now is enough. Like you know, I challenge you to fraud my signature after this. How you can do? It's it, it's impossible. You should see the check I write. The bank he was waiting for me to finish my signature. Like what is that? It's like a Morris code. Anyway. Let us move and see the story from the original source. I don't want to say to you, are you ready? Because it's funny if I say to you, are ready? Anyone remember the hadith where Muhammad, he said to his followers, are you sincerely ready to go to heaven? He said, yes. He said, are you sincerely ready to go to heaven? They said, yes. Muhammad, he get more excited. Are you sincerely ready to go to heaven? They said, yes, yes, yes. He said, are you sincerely ready to go to heaven? They said, they could go crazy. Like, yes, like, yes, like, yes. And then Muhammad, he said, see, inshallah. Like, what the heck? 
when you hear this guy screaming saying are you sincere you need to go to heaven you think the bus is coming they will go to heaven right now the the people they get so excited and then they found that they want to say and say inshallah god is willing like what all of this to say you're gonna okay let it go let it go i mean come on let it go man i mean why you are too complicated all right let me grab the reference for you give me a second less than a second half second islamic second is 1000 years the quran says that allah said that the judgment day is near and that was 1400 years ago <laughs> all right let us read <clears throat> <sighs> Guys, read with me the story, please. Man, oh man. Where I will start reading for you from? Let us see. All right, read with me carefully. This is Ibn Kathir. Abdul, don't tell me this is your own story. All right? This is Ibn Kathir, chapter 5, Al-Ma'idah, interpretation from 27 to 31, and this is your Islamic interpretation, not mine. Just take a note, because I know you. Lying, lying, you know, whatever I say, lying. Muhammad is good. Is, uh, even if I say Muhammad is a good man, you say lying. I agree. All right. <clears throat> okay. Allah allowed Adam to marry his daughter to his sons. Look what? <laughs> he allow him? <laughs> Are you sure? Really, guys? Uh, Allah, he allow Adam hmm, to marry his daughters to his sons. All right. Because of the necessity, such action. They also said that every pregnancy, Adam was given a twin. Well, he was given what? <laughs> every time if she deliver babies, she give a twin. Male and female. What? Male and female. He used to give them female of one twin to a male of the other twin if 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 he used he used i want you to focus with me with the word used hmm? because later we will use it later used huh? you see it take a note he used to give the female of a one twin to a male of the other twin in marriage halal marriage man not sex marriage habil huh? abel sister was not a beautiful oh no Oh no, I mean, why? 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 The first ugly girl is burned in the time of Adam. I mean, this is not even fair. Why? I mean, how lucky you are. You are the first female human born, yet you are ugly. How you can fix that? At that time, there's no makeup, there's no plastic surgery, there is no wig to wear, there's no fake eyelashes, there's no fake breast, there's no fake teeth, there's nothing fake. So now you are born and you are ugly and you are the first female in history of the mankind. What you would do, what you would do? Be honest with me, what you would do? Any Muslim? I think this Muslim story must be truthful and I think it is really 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 touching story let us concentrate together please see everything I did in the drawing was true I told you male and female let us go back to the picture this is why I take a snapshot of it let us go back to the picture do you see male and female each time she give birth, she give two babies. Boing, 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 and and the uh, and the uh, uh, Adam is here. He's waiting for them, and he grabbed them like do two, two, two. 
uh, you know if she she shoot the first one Adam he grab it Eve push the second one what is the second one you should give it to a twin okay my husband hold on hold on I think he's there I'm trying to find him boing boing what the heck I mean this is amazing let us go back to the story which is amazing story and nobody can even discuss how authentic it is so now Adam was given a twin a male and a female and he used to give and I want you to focus again in the word use because we will use later to give a female of one twin to one male of the other twin look at the wisdom this God is conservative guys he will not allow the twin to marry his sister from the same twin you marry from the other twin okay it's haram it's haram to marry your sister from your twin you marry her from the other twin as it may have is going to make a difference <laughs> unbelievable in marriage Habil sister was not beautiful while al qurtubi Sister, sorry, Al, 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 sorry, Kabil. Sister was so beautiful, man. You should see this sister. Hold on, hold on. Let me give you an idea how how uh, how Kabil's sister looked like. How, like I, I want to give you an idea. Hold on. Wait, wait. This is Kabil's sister. Oh boy, look at this. This is Kabil's sister, and she was, by the way, she was wearing short too. Just to let you know, in case you do not know, I mean, because most of you you don't have education at that time. Even they used to wear nothing. Hello, like at least now here she's wearing a short. But the sister of Kabil, she was really, really something, really hot. We go back to the sterile. Stop looking, guys. Come on. I mean, if you cannot tell them story without getting uh, in, in, uh, in in temptation. All right. Now here, Adam was giving a male and female. It's okay, and giving the female the use to marriage. Okay, Habil's sister was not beautiful, while Kabil's sister was so beautiful, resulting. Which is very important in the story in Kabil wanting her for himself like what what's wrong with you Habil Kabil sorry he want himself to marry the beautiful sister but he cannot do that remember this is his beautiful sister from his twin he should marry the other twin I mean come on Kabil this is haram you cannot do that Disgusting. Instead of his brother, Adam refused. Adam, he said to have Kabil, Habibi, Haram, 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 Habibi. You cannot do that. Edo, Haram. Shut up, you idiot. You cannot marry her. She is your sister from your twin. You cannot do that. Hello? Stupid? Are you a donkey or what? Are you a donkey? So, Adam, he refused that Abel, for those who do not know uh, the names, you know, Qabil in Arabic is uh, equal to Abel in English, all right? Do you get it? The, start with Q. This is Abel, all right? And this is Cain. Uh, Kabil and Habil. Kabil, Kabil is, yeah, I think, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm trying just to match the names into English. Now, here, Allah, he refused, uh, sorry, Adam, he refused that Kabil will marry from his sister, which was be be the beautiful one. And he said to them that Allah told him, both they should offer a sacrifice. And he whose sacrifice was accepted, would Allah told us about who uh, uh, about them occurred, which means the, the solution for the problem, who is going to marry the beautiful girl? So now the two brothers, 
they made offering to Allah and the one who Allah accept his offer he will get the cute sexy one all right let me go to the kitchen let me go to the kitchen and see what I will cook for Allah you see guys if I was in the time of uh, 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 Qabil I will give him an advice look like this poor Qabil he do not know that Allah is not a vegetarian and he don't like veggie so what happened that this guy he offer Allah a sacrifice which was vegetables and his brother he offer Allah a sheep and Allah because he don't like Viji he took the sheep he refuses the vegetables and this is how the problem solved however after that one brother he killed the other brother so now as you see the story I'm showing you is in the front of you Muslims this is not my own story do you see it? Then you Muslim have an objection. Who is a Muslim have an objection for such a beautiful, amazing story? If you are new, by the way, here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are a Muslim, please call me. Who is a Muslim would like to call? If you know a Muslim, he have knowledge about Islam and he like to call us and show us. He can change the topic actually, I don't mind. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would do would like would like to call us? Ah, this guy Sulaiman, this guy is isn't this the same guy he called me yesterday about number seven is not seven? Isn't this the same guy? This guy is an idiot. He's, 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 a, he's taking too much hashish from Algeria, right? Forget about him. Even number seven is not seven. The dawn is not dawn. The day is not day. <laughs> he have his own fictions. We show him Ibn Kathir. Say no, Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. Okay, Ajalalin. Ajalalin. No. So which which scholar you accept? No scholar. No, no, no. Okay, who is the one who taught you uh, uh, Muhammad Shahroor? Who is Muhammad Shahroor? May Allah Shahroor you. Shahroor. Even the name is funny. Shahroor. Shahroor, ya Shahroor. You are really Shahroor. Shahroor, ya Shahroor. Shahroor, ya Shahroor. Anyway. I'm thinking to make a CD by the way thank you do you think do you think I should make a CD I fit very good for being a singer the only problem is uh, I'm I don't look good I don't know how I can solve this I am this I look the same as the sister of uh, the daughter of uh, the first daughter of Adam my teeth is coming out actually I don't have teeth at all <laughs> like Muhammad Muhammad all his front teeth was broken how he can recite the Quran I have no idea so I can imagine Muhammad reciting the Quran without teeth. He's saying, And the funny, the Muslim, they say to us, the Quran was recited to us. Huh? He was reciting the Quran. He don't have teeth. How he can recite the Quran? And this is, by the way, the response of all those people who say that uh, Muhammad, he used to bite Aisha during sexual intercourse. This is not true. This is not a true because he don't even have teeth. You are a liar. We continue. We continue. Who is here first time? Who is here first time? Who is here first time listening to us? If you are here first time, uh, I feel sorry for you. Why you are here? I mean, why? Huh? Do you think you are doing something good by being here in our channel? This is really bad. This is not right. Wait until I tell your mom about what you did by coming here. Now we continue. 
so the story of Adam and Eve here exposed to us something very amazing about the logic of Allah not the logic of Muhammad because supposedly this is Allah talking Allah from the beginning is very conservative yet the children of Adam they are going to have sex with each other because it's of the necessity but yet Allah will not allow the twin to have sister twin as a wife Eww. I here have a question and you see guys all of you you forgot what I said to you to remember do you remember what I said to you before I said to you I want you to take a note of the word he used anyone notice why I, I said to you take a note about he used anyone notice what the problem here let us see who is here uh, of you is really smart what used what what is that will lead us to there's a problem here with used <laughs> there's a problem with used yeah all the time what does that mean aren't they those are the first two twins <laughs> They are the first two twin, and he used. What do you mean he used? <laughs> oh boy, unbelievable! <laughs> I love Abdul. Abdul, you are the best. Unbelievable. Your book says amazing, and your prophet is the best storyteller. Unbelievable, man. Your prophet is super smart. I mean, his intelligence is beyond, beyond imagination. He used this is the first baby. What do you mean he used? Hello, hello, it's me you are looking for. You used to look for me before. What happened to you now? Why you want to say ciao? Hello, okay. Rene, it's not found in the book of Allah. I don't believe hadith. Ah, this guy, he don't believe in hadith. He believe in the book of Allah. You either this is in the book of Allah. As long you believe in the book of Allah, Abdul, as long you believe in the book of Allah, then why you made yesterday a story saying that the word seven is not seven? Hmm? And the word fajr is not dawn. And the word day is not day. So how what do you believe in the book of Allah? You don't believe in the book of Allah. You have a different fiction book. You're a liar. Same time, this is a story. Your God, Allah told you. Here is speaking about a sacrifice. Guys, let us make a challenge for this Abdul. What about you call me and tell me what the sacrifice they did and why? Based on the book of Allah. What do you think, guys? Who is a Muslim when I do that? As long you Muslim believe in the story written in the book of Allah, not in the hadith or in the uh, report of the Muslim scholars or campaign or even by Muhammad. What is the story? What is the real story? Who are they, those two guys? Anyone can tell us. Who is the Muslim when I tell us? Israel is not Jacob. Yeah, who is Jacob then? Who is Israel? Hello. Hello, brother. Hey, my Salam friend. alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm fine. I just want to thank you that uh, I am the guy. Just uh, I know who you are. Uh, I know who you are. Okay. Trust me. Trust okay. Me. Thank you. Uh, I just want to tell you that uh, I'm growing up in faith and uh, uh, Alhamdulillah Rabb. I really thank the Messiah that I came to know the Lord Jesus I mean is uh, is I just uh, I always pray for you because uh, and I also thank the man who led me to watch your uh, videos uh, years four years before do you remember and, who uh, is he who is he Ah, he's my friend. No, he doesn't. He told me not uh, not to tell uh, his right. name because okay. no problem. Okay, uh, maybe I will tell you. It's okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. Okay. Uh, 
uh, alhamdulillah yeah here yeah, i found the truth and now uh, after reading uh, all the things and uh, christ is the true lord and he's the messenger Amen. and one thing i want to ask you is that uh uh is the uh, with the nujum uh, kathara he told me uh, this verse uh, quran ayah mm -hmm. he talks about uh uh prophecy does he talk about uh, prophecy well, supposedly it's prophecy because this is supposedly will happen in the future. But the fact this is stupid because the 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 uh, uh, the sun al already in that shape. So what is the sun You know okay. what I mean? The takwir, you know, the the, the action. If it, this is not okay. a prophecy in the future, because it's saying if the, when the sun is going to happen that way, but the sun already have that uh, look, <laughs> you know. Okay. So. It's a, it's a just, uh, you see, Muhammad, he was trying, I don't know if you know about something, it's called a sajah. You know a sajah? Okay. Uh -huh. There is there is something in, in, uh, in the Arabian Peninsula, uh, you can search for it, it's called sajjul kuhan. Sajjul okay. kuhan. Sajjul kuhan mm -hmm. is exactly what the Quran is. The Quran, Muhammad actually, he forbid the Arab, the Muslims, after he uh, was victorious, uh, to do uh, saja why because he don't want anyone to be in competition with him in the Quran he forbid oh. them from doing saja saja is, is is forbidding Islam why because the Quran is saja so now if you make saja you are trying to make Quran and the funny the Muslim they say to us can you make Quran <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know? yeah, so it's, it's, so saja this is why yeah. this is why when you see uh, uh, the the Quran here the, those verses is nothing but saja they have no meaning if you try to understand the meaning of those verses you find no meaning what what is a shamsu kuwirat what is that what, what is the prophecy what the Muslim told you about this prophecy uh, actually uh, I don't understand when they say that but uh, because uh, but uh, he uh, it's, it's not understandable what he told me, I, I don't even understand about this verse. The Shams of actually, actually, is that Nujum on Katharat? I, I don't know. Really on Kadarat, you say, because simply, uh, obviously, uh, the God of Islam, he don't consider the sun as a star because oh. it is a Shams of Kuwirat, and then what is a Nujum on Kadarat? So that's mean yeah. the sun is not the same as a star, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Why is in the Jibaru Sujirat? Why is the Isharu Utilat? Why is the Wahush Hushirat? Why is the Biharu Sujirat? Why is it? It's, it's just a Saja, it has no meaning. You know, and then you see uh, the Muslims. They say in in this verse, it's speaking about the verse number eight. Where is the to Suilat? The, the, we yes. ask the Mabud, the Mabuda. They say to you, this is about the uh, Arab used to bury children who so they are females, correct? Hey, hey, what during uh, before uh, Islam? Khalifa Umar ibn Khattab. Yes, yeah, before they Islam, used to be. They, they say before be, Islam they used to do that. Before uh, Islam. Do, uh, yeah, during the pagan uh, period. Mm -hmm. With the yeah. fact that's because they are stupid, they don't understand. Al Mawuda, uh -huh. Al Mawuda is the one is buried. Okay. It is the soul, the spirit, the the body, the, the, the dead body. So it what is Al Mawuda Su'ilat? Everyone is killed, is going to be asked why you are killed. This is not about the children and the babies. This is stupid. But because they they have a lack of intellect and they have a lack of reading their books, it's written in their books, even this this is interpretation written in, the, in their books. But how they can understand what they are written in their books if they don't read their books? So that you will yeah. see the Muslim they copy this and they try to say, see, Islam forbid from killing babies. But the fact is about not killing babies. It's about in the judgment day. This is not why. Mm -hmm. Why? Why he did not say to them, don't kill your babies? This is about in the judgment day. I'm going to ask you why you did that. This is about why you killed an innocent human being supposedly. All right. Okay. All right. Being you know, what is a sahif in Ushurat? Is a sama It's a stupid statement. All of this mean nothing. Then, 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 like just to show you how stupid the Quran. If you go to verse number fifteen, it says, "Fala uqsimu bil khunnas, al-jawar al-khunnas." What the heck is that? Wallaylu is a hasas. What subhu is a nafas? What does have to what does have to do with the judgment day? There is no connection. It's a stupid, you know. And then in verse number nineteen, just to make it clear that Muhammad is a false prophet. Do you know what verse number nineteen says? Okay. Innahu la qawlu rasulin kareem. Yes. Okay. How he, it how, is the word, how this is, is the word of the prophet. Yeah, yeah this, uh, so how, how this is Quran coming from Allah, and this is a statement of a, uh, of a generous prophet. <laughs> 
This means this, this is mean the Quran is made by Muhammad, you know. هذا قول رسول كريم. Like what? What do you mean رسول كريم? That's stupid. You cannot say that. You should not say that. But Muhammad, he is making a poetry. He is making a sajah, not poetry. A sajah. It's like Arab music. Yeah. By saying that statement, he got himself busted. He just said that this is a statement of a of a generous prophet, which means yeah. everything I just said to you is coming from me. This is not from Allah. You see, guys, this is a chapter. And by the way, this is mentioned in more, more than one chapter. In chapter 69, verse number 40, it says the same. Rasul in Karim. Mm -hmm. So the same verse, Muslims, they quote for us, the same chapter. It is the same one, get Muhammad busted. How this is the word of Allah. And this is the statement of Muhammad. Okay. Uh, Any more things? An uh, okay. Another uh, word thing to ask: When did uh, Muhammad uh, lost uh, his toes? Oh, this is during the, the uh, some they say during the attack of Ahad. Ahad. Uh, they some uh, uh -huh. one of the pagans supposed. Harb al Ahad. Yeah, the Ghazwat Ghazwat Ahad. Okay. Uh, some uh, one of the pagan he throw uh, a rock. Right. And he hit him okay. in the front of, in his jaws, so he broke all his teeth. The, 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 he broke uh, uh, the, all the front teeth, so the up and the down, you know. So okay. all of those are gone. You can search for it in the internet. You speak Arabic. You can type, you know, okay. uh, 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 search for Kesru Rubaiyat al Rasul. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. You will find it right I'll away. Search. Okay. You're welcome, my friend. Okay. I'm, uh, okay. Thank, I'm happy thank for you. you, and don't forget to invite us some Muslims, man. I'm happy for you that you left Islam. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, I invited uh, some of uh, my friends. Uh, uh -huh. They were going to debate, and uh, uh, two of them still. Uh, they told me they're going to debate, uh, but the other person, uh, after watching your videos, uh, he told me that he don't accept uh, hadith anymore. He became Quran only no problem person. let him we can he can call me and debate me about the Quran and soon he will say I don't accept Quran no more <laughs> I mean, so <laughs> yeah he was uh, he's because he's very confused and uh, uh, the others uh, they're watching uh, your videos I'm waiting for them I am asking them every day uh, to come and debate yeah uh, but In my best friend uh, he lose uh, his trust on uh, uh, the hadith because uh, he, yeah, he, this is the me first... he told me that uh, he's uh, he didn't know that because even I myself even didn't know uh, until I came to you and see all the hadiths uh, that you uh, put on the screen. Uh, after uh, seeing all the things on the screen, that it is clear evidence because uh, I don't accept just like this uh, Suleiman or some David mean, Suleiman. He's just a uh, garbage person because you know why? Because there are great scholars just like. Uh, Jalalain, uh, Ibn Abbas, and, and here we are not quoting well hadith, known, you know. We, we, we well are known scholars, yeah. We are not quoting had. hadith, we are quoting, we are quoting the scholar to show him how the Arabic is, you know. It's uh, it's not about yeah. now, uh, Al Qurtubi, he, yeah. he even denied uh, Al Qurtubi, yeah. He's not a Muslim, this person is not a Muslim, right? I heard him, yeah. Because when, uh, because uh, I really thank the Masaya because he opened my mind and my heart that I came to know the truth because he used you to lead me to the truth. I mean, and friend. I really appreciate keep up the the good work. Thank you, my May friend. God bless you. May You're so blessed person. person. I will keep praying for you. Thank you. And I will I will watch your videos every day. Thank you. God bless. Take and care. there are there are people also that they are hiding in the bush because I invited them. They are keeping silent. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm texting them. They are listening to you. I know. That. I know. I know. Uh, okay. You know, always Muslim, they claim they are not even listening. Actually, they say they mute me. <laughs> so why you are here? Oh. Why you are yeah, here if you mute me? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, you know why once a person starts watching your videos, he cannot stop. Because you are planting a bomb in his uh, mind. He cannot stop. Because I remember once I watched your videos four years before, I muted once, I was sick, I got a uh, headache. Uh, I was crying, I was shouting, I was sick even. Uh, even the last day I decided to come to you and I talked to you uh, and then I made dua and... Uh, uh, Did you curse me? Uh, no, I used to. Okay. I used to curse you every How many times a day? But now, <laughs> <laughs> almost every minute. 
because oh, you made me lose the the religion that I grew up because I love I used to love it but now uh, thanks to Lord uh, Yeshua he led me to the right path this is because I have been uh, to be honest uh, I had some doubts because I was wanting to know who is Allah and uh, what is Allah I was wanting to know all those things in my life uh, it took me uh, years and I really want to encourage the person Yunus because uh, the more he read about Islam, the more yeah, he lose right. a phase on that thing. Because uh, one thing I, I understand is that when a Christian wants to become a, a, a good Christian and he reads the uh, Bible, he becomes a good person. When a Muslim wants to become a good Muslim, when he go to Hadith and the Sirah and all the Kitabs, become he a becomes suspicious become and a complicated and contradictory person. Yeah. He doesn't know what to do. He becomes a confused person. Yeah. Well, you know, the good thing here, we show everything in the screen, so nobody can say we are making things up, you know. Of course, of and, course, it's, uh, it's a proof, because yeah. I, I, I knew this websites before even you do that. You know, some, some I people, read they, them in Arabic. Yeah, yeah. Some people, they make speeches, Islam is bad, etc. You know, I don't do that. I just read for you what is written there, and, yeah. you know, you tell me what, what is that. Uh, as simple as that. Uh, this is the the best way because people, they need evidence, not just someone making speeches and accusations. Same as the Muslims, when they do, you know the Muslims they accuse us of lies and they try yeah. to give interpretation for our Bible it's not it even exist so oh, they yeah. think you see I don't show like this is not my interpretation I was shown Ibn Kathir and Ibn Kathir is a scholar except by them of course it's not my scholar I'm not a I'm not the one Ibn Kathir yeah. and Jalaline, they all are great scholars in Islam yeah and we knew them yeah, unless but, someone but suddenly to, uh, denies but, himself or he tried to denounce him who is who is uh, this uh, Abdul Sulaiman or who is he he's just yeah. a uh, they, they are well-known scholars in Islam. but the second you show Why them how stupid is what is written there suddenly they will say to you we don't accept them same as the hadith you see the first step of leaving Islam is denying the hadith that is the fact you know of course that's what happened to me yeah because I you denied it, the hadith two years before yeah you start rejecting because this is this is bad I'm not going to accept this, this is stupid yeah. so what you say to yourself try to defend uh, your faith by rejecting the hadith and then you find that okay I rejected the hadith now what about the Quran can I reject the Quran because the Quran itself is a stupid too it doesn't make it doesn't make any difference if you uh, accept the hadith or not still the Quran is a stupid book Quran is, is ten times more stupid than the hadith you know like you know the, the when we ask a Muslim about uh, Israel who is Israel okay forget about the hadith. I want to know now who is Israel how I can get to know who is Israel what is Qabil and Habil in the Quran? Where are they? Nowhere. Okay. No. Where, where, where the story of uh, of Adam and Eve? Where we can find the details? There's nothing, you know. Tafsir. Only in the yeah. Tafsir. Everything is not in the Quran. The Quran is an empty book. There's nothing. Yeah. The details. Yeah. The details. Yeah. The, the real Islam is in the Europe. To be honest, I haven't pages. understand ever since my. Uh, uh, I recite Quran ever since I was a child, but I, I didn't understand. That's why I have been uh, running from one sheikh to the other, uh, because I, I was trying to understand the meaning. Even uh, if you do Arabic, uh, if you speak Arabic very good, you don't even understand it. Do you know that? Yeah, you know, because it's stupid. Yeah. It's, uh, actually, even Muhammad, he used to fabricate Arabic words. As an example, once at the Hadith, he says, المغربون. Do you know what Mughribun means? <laughs> no. Okay, they ask him the, the Arab. They ask him, "What is Mugharibun?" <laughs> like, what the heck? What is Mugharibun? He said, "Those who they partner with the devil, which means Shaitan, he sleep with their wives." Yeah, yeah, Shaitan sleep with the wives. Well, yeah, well, you know, it's a religion of fictions and stupidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. I completely understand. It's clear now. Yeah. It's clear. It's clear. Yeah. Once you try, once you understand everything. It's just all nice and it's uh, just created and a fiction book. Yeah. Thank you, brother. I always pray for you. Keep up the good work because uh, I know there are uh, some people that I invite them. Maybe it will take years, all right. just like me. Okay. But uh, one one of my friends, he became a Quran only person. He told me he don't accept a hadith anymore. Hmm. I told him to come and defend the Quran because I tried to defend Quran with uh, many uh, Christian apologetics. But I felt, uh, and uh, uh, because even in the Quran it said that uh, everyone will go to hell. Yeah, well, it's not the only story. I mean, the Quran is full of errors and stupidity. 
you see when we speak about the book of God we don't we, we should not believe for a second that the book of God it's, says a, dialogue. Things. it's, it's a dialogue between a Quraysh uh, a, a Masihi and actually not Masihi Nasara Nasara and uh, yeah, yeah yes because it's a different uh, there is a difference between Nasara and Masihi Masihi is the one who believe in the Messiah and Nasara they are were cor they were corrupted because they believe that uh, Jesus and his mother Mary is God because he took that thing from uh, this Nasara people well it doesn't matter where he took it from at the end of the day even even the Trinity he got it wrong because if he take it from a sect why you claim all the Christians believe in that you know yeah that's not a reason to to say what he said because yeah. uh, uh, he should he should uh, 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 discuss the matter of the majority who believe in something not some few smaller group and they are not exist no more okay. if they are exist one day you know okay, okay. Uh, but Muhammad he never met the real Christians you know he met Nasara yeah, okay. and he thought this yeah. is this is what the Christians believe you know yeah and at last when I come to watch your videos about noon uh, I never knew noon was a well I never knew I have no idea nobody can you imagine how many people doesn't have doesn't know noon is a, uh, a well that carries the earth nobody knows I was shocked when I came to know the noon under the noon there is a, a bull under the bull there is a rock it's really uh, some kind of uh, have you ever read Arabian night uh, the book Arabian yeah, Nights? yeah I know it yeah yeah it's, it's a, just like that yeah, it's, it's actually like this work that. on you see Arabian night Arabian night is a collection of legion stories yeah. written in a book it's not like a creation of a person uh, same time uh, Muhammad did the same he collected the stories was yeah. exist before him and he put it in the Quran so that you can, you can say the Quran is the Arabian night book and at, at his time the oh, flying so car really amazing I want you to make a video on judge or my judge and if you can do on that because uh, they uh, dig the mountains they are behind the mountain they dig because they don't say inshallah they do not right uh, and uh, I want uh, because you're doing from uh, scratch because you are dismantling this religion from scratch and uh, even for me it's uh, a great education because I, I never knew all the things uh, because you are bringing the proof and uh, it's really awesome yeah well the story of, yeah. of, of Gog and Magog it's very easy if you go right now like now we are in chapter uh, in Ibn Kathir if you go to chapter 18 verse number 94 uh, right away okay. you will see the story of Gog and Magog you know Islam is very easy to figure out I mean it's a stupid religion you do not need uh, much of work uh, especially like uh, you as a person who speak Arabic you see you, you have yeah. you have an advantage others don't have uh, because you speak Arabic you can go and research and study easier than someone who don't know Arabic so now if we go okay. to chapter 18 okay uh as long you are with me and ask me about this uh 18 okay. and we go to 94 because this is where the verse uh, is appearing um uh, and again the one way muhammad speak about this is the jews again you know they fooled him uh, okay this is why muhammad hated the jews because the jews they got him busted by asking him questions he thought uh, the answer he would give would satisfy them but he never noticed okay. that they are making fun of him uh, okay. okay, if we go uh, enter uh, Joe, here we go. So until he arrived, where it is a huge numbers of the your Jews and the Majuj. And yeah. then he found next to those Gog and Magog people, which okay. is supposed to have value, but for Muhammad they are people who they are called Gog and Magog. He found next to them uh, people who understand nothing, but yet the verse after it says that those people they ask. Uh, Zulkarnain, which means Alexander the Great, to build a dam. But how you say they understand nothing, and now they are asking you to do something smart, to build a dam. I mean, it's, this is their idea. So here, uh, he they ask this guy Zulkarnain to create a barrier between them and Yagug and Magug. Uh, yes. Zulkarnain said, "Be uh, so." Allah, he spoke to Zulkarnain, and he told him, "Either you punish me or you reward them." And then Zulkarnain he asked them to build. Uh, a barrier and that barrier is made from copper and from uh, I forgot the other material in English uh, so anyway like he he, he made the uh, copper and like uh, uh, 
bronze what is the bar of what, uh, what, what uh, is the bronze? bronze bronze i think it's bronze like you know i, I think even in english the same so anyway he asked them to uh, to make those blocks so they can build uh, uh, a, uh, a dam between the two uh, uh, between the two nations and then supposedly okay. those nations they will uh, Gog and Magog and the Judgment Day and from now until the Judgment Day they will be trying their best uh, okay. to uh, to dig inside uh, let us say uh, in that wall and get out but it's not working each time they get dig in they come back in the second morning and they find that their hole which they dig yesterday it's closed so which means all their work is gone how did they not know but then one day in the judgment day people of Gog and Magog they will one of them he will say before we start doing this let us say uh, inshallah you know yeah and then when they say inshallah they come the second day and they find their hole is still there it's not closed yeah and this is how yeah. they will be able to penetrate and they will go out and eat all humankind they will, they will make no, they will, come up not eat they will kill they will kill they will kill they will, they will kill. slaughter okay. yeah and gog and magog if you have my book you will see the de uh, description for them i have all the reference they are funny okay. some of them they are if every one of gog and magog he will have one thousand baby before he die okay so imagine in the he, time and he also breed oh yeah they have sex and they have they breed yeah so right. that, that's mean if in the in that time imagine those are exist in the time of Zulkarnain. so if every one of them he he he, he breathed 1000 and then remember the 1000 will do what each one of them will have 1000 right yeah. so from one person within and and they and they grow up very fast like it doesn't take them 20 years or 7 16 years to have sex again like within a year he is a growing uh, uh, mature so within a year we will have a million Gog and Magog from one person from Gog and Magog just one person uh, oh. so you know the, the, the and, and the, they have ears they sleep inside their ears there is like a tent yes. you know yeah their ears is like uh a blanket like a tent like a tent no no it's like a tent the, it's like oh it, the, yeah. the right ear is like a tent and he goes deep inside his ear <laughs> yes uh, yeah I, 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 I grew up hearing all those things yeah and uh, uh, this uh, when did this dua starts uh, this dua Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min adhab al qabri wa min adhab jahannam this is uh, somehow when did this uh, this is prayer from, start this is from Muhammad the time of Muhammad most of those are hadith <clears throat> okay you know all of those is hadith and the muslims they repeat them this there's the same as the dua which means the prayer before you go to the bathroom and there's yeah, a, oh. and he told them there's a prayer before you have sex because if you don't if you don't okay. say that word or this prayer shaitan okay. will wrap himself around the penis of the man and he is going to be the one who's having sex with the women you know all those yeah. fiction stories coming from muhammad but here this story is not coming really from muhammad it's a story muhammad he heard and he put it in his Quran because he thought this is a, this is something is accepted to be true about Gog and Magog. Okay. You know? Yeah. Anything else, my friend? It's just like Antichrist in the, the false prophet, yeah. Gog and Magog. Uh, no, the Antichrist. You see, everything Muhammad is taken from somewhere, but Antichrist okay. is different. It is different thing. Antichrist is a person who will claim to be the Messiah. You know, oh. the Antichrist in Islam is his name yeah. is Al Masih al Dajjal, which means the the false yeah, the false Messiah. Yes. So he will the claim. False Messiah. Right. So he will claim to be the Messiah. Yeah. He's not. Also in. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not also. really the Antichrist. You know, he's not really the Antichrist as uh, the Muslim translate. It is. Oh. He is Antichrist by trying to clone him, but he don't call himself the Antichrist. He call himself the false Messiah. Oh, okay. And actually, and, this and is not even he called this, himself. It's not. Okay, I want to ask you him. something. Just yeah. like when uh, in Arabic, uh, just when someone is say, uh, Al Masih al Dajjal, uh, uh, Masih Isa, if I go and translate into Google translation, Masih, he will translate it as Jesus. Isa as Jesus. It cannot be Jesus, Jesus. You see? This is uh, what confused you. Yeah, this is a false translation. Do you understand? Al Masih, me? Al -Masih is a different word. It's, it's a title. Yes. But Yes, but in Google they put it as Jesus. 
Masih as, as Google, Jesus. You know, uh, and Google, Isa Google. as Jesus. Yeah. It cannot be two Jesus. Jesus. You have a father name. My father name cannot be the same as mine. Right. If let's say uh, someone is uh, Abdul Jabbar, mm. his father, he cannot be Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar cannot be Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar. Mm. That is why I, I see that Al Masih Isa is not well translated in Arabic because the Messiah means the anointed in Arabic, so, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yes, but it, uh, you see, it's one of them in the the Messiah. It's more than uh, anoint, an anointed one. Uh, okay, it have many meaning, but but the major one of it that he is the chosen, the anointed, uh, the 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 the, the uh, elected, the selected, the the the, the unique. Uh, the miracle, all those names fit with the Messiah because this is what the Messiah is about. The Messiah, he is a miracle himself. His birth is a miracle, you know. His his life is miracle. His death is miracle. His uh, his words is miracle because they are powerful. So uh, the, the the Muslims, because they are copying a name, they do not know what it is. If we ask the Muslims, where do you get the name Isa from? They have no idea. Uh, uh, the, the English one, Jesus, is coming actually from uh, uh, Yeshua. Yeah, or yes, in Arabic we say yes, Yeshua. Yeshua, what's Yeshua? Yeshua yeah. yeah. So the Muslims do not Yeshua. do not know what does that mean. I do not know what the Messiah mean because this is coming from a different uh, language. You know. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, in 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 the in in the ancient language, uh, like letters, they make a name, and the letters are not really just letters. They are usually sometimes they are two words not okay. one not one word you know so okay. if you go and uh, uh, study the name of the messiah uh, or the name of adam or the name of uh, uh, noah you will find that those are not names those are a statement it's a, it's a sentence yeah. you know it's not a name there's no names in the bible there's no name yeah. adam is not a name you know yeah even we call now the, the when we say adam we mean a person but the fact it's not a name you know this is not the name mm -hmm. of a person uh, yeah, uh, this is a description of that person, you know. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, just like Abraham is the father of nation. Abraham, Abraham is does not mean. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it it has meaning. It's not a name. He's the father. Uh, Abraham is yeah, coming from Abra not, Abraham. Yeah. Abraham is the one who crossed the river. You know, the one who come okay. from. You see, uh, if you go to Iraq, right? So there is there is a Euphrates and uh, and Dajla, right? Yes. So, so uh, Abraham, he was in Ur. This is where his family mm. from. So when he yeah, yeah. when he decide to leave yeah. mm -hmm. uh, his family and his their faith, you know, he became the one in the upper state. But how he became the upper state because he crossed the river. Those who used to leave mm -hmm. the faith and that in the time of Abraham, here they ran away. What they do? They cross the river. So this is what Abraham means, the one who crossed the river. Good. You know. Everything yeah. every, same as Musa's. Musa's so is, why Musa's not, why is the one who Isa survived the drowning. No meaning. Huh? Isa has no meaning. No, Isa has no meaning. Isa in Arabic because it's uh, a, because it's a wrong word. You know, it's a wrong word. Uh, uh, mostly, yeah. mostly, uh, uh, Muhammad he got yeah. the name from the Greek. You know, yeah, which is Isa and uh, Esos. You yeah, know, yes, and also I was wondering if Ishmael was Muslim, uh, why there is no single person named Ishmael before Muhammad in Mecca. Or in Medina, there is nobody. Well, you know, uh, because, because there were their names Abdullah, you know, Abdul Uzza, Abdul Manat. Yeah. you can find it all in the history of Islam. Right. This is I, just I, like I, that. Correct. Because so the, the, your question is, how come if, if 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 Islam came to the to Arabian Peninsula as they claim, why nobody called his son Ibrahim? Yes. Or Ishmael. Yeah. Or his You know. Yeah, but you will find those names actually exist, but not between the Arab, uh, uh, the tribe of Muhammad. Those are exist between the the Jews, you know, for sure. But the yes, Jews, they, but the Jews are not from there anyway. The, the Jews, Jews that exist in Yathrib. Yeah, the it, Jews yes. are not. The Jews actually even is they are not there. The Jews they ran away from from Israel when the Roman conquered the Persian. Before yeah. that, if you remember. Uh, the chapter of our room in the Quran, the chapter of the room where it says Muhammad speaking about how the room they lost, but they will win again. So uh, in the time of Muhammad, the Rome, the Roman they lost in the year 614, and uh, the Persian they were able to conquer Jerusalem, and the Jews at that time they held the Persian against the Christians. 
So what happened when the Persian came, this is why the second immigration, uh, let us say, wave of, of, of Jews. When, when the Roman, they conquered back Jerusalem, the Jews, they ran away because they took a side of the Persian. So they escaped. This is why the number of Jews uh, in, uh, during that time, it was uh, all of them mostly, either in Persia, like not long time ago, there's a huge number of, uh, of uh, Jewish in, uh, in Iran. Why? Because uh, during the time of the Roman, the Jews escaped for their life because they took the side of the Persian during that war. And the same, some of them, they escaped and they went all the way uh, to, uh, uh, to the Arabian Peninsula. Why? Because in the Arabian Peninsula, Roman uh, state does not exist. Roman, okay. th there's no Roman authority. It's like yes. a, it was an asylum land for them. You know, the Jews, they come there as an asylum. So all the story of Abraham went to Mecca is a joke. Why Abraham want to go to Mecca? Yeah, you cannot track. You cannot track. Even uh, he was Syrian. It, you know, he went down to uh, Canaan City. And... Uh, he lived in. Uh, he di he died in Canaan, right? Yeah, but you know, the, the, uh, uh, let us go by the Muslim story. Okay. You know, when when the Muslim they speak about Abraham, <coughs> uh, let me open a. Uh, a map. In the Middle East. To explain to people who they are listening. Why this story is stupid to believe in? Let us see. Let me open a map. Okay. All right. If we go here, <coughs> this is a map. <clears throat> for the Middle East. So, if we look at the map in front of us, this is Iraq. So, supposedly, Abraham is coming from this land here. Yeah. All right. Now, Iraq yes. have rivers. Actually, I need to find a, a, a better map from this one. Maybe if we zoom. We can see better. Let us see if that will work. No. Okay, let us see. Let us see Google. Hold on. I'll try to find Google map. Because Google can show us maybe better. All right, this one is better. Perfect. So here you will notice with me that there is rivers in this area. And you will see here it's a green area. So let us say that Abraham, he was in this area. And this area, as you see, it's full of grass, trees, green. Now, Abraham, he want to leave Iraq and he decided to go to where? To Mecca. Now look at the road to Mecca. It's a desert, pure desert. Yes. Now he have to pass all this area, coming all the way from Iraq. Why in the world he will do such a stupid thing? Because this is mean in death. The, to the opposite direction? Nobody yeah. would go to the opposite direction. It's not, not only the opposite direction, he's going to the desert. You know, uh, what, yes, because what there is no oasis. Yeah, what Abraham would do for living. No he, what he would do for a living, Abraham, he is, uh, you know, the same yeah. as all people at that time. They have animals. This is how they it live. It would be very difficult. It would be very difficult. No, no, they have animals. Him. They have animals. It's how they live. Everybody at that time have animals. You know, you grow sheep, uh, goats. Yes, herds. You know? yeah, okay. Yes. So now they he is, he is, he is lots stupid to go and walk in the Arabian desert. He will die. Of course. People, when they go, a Bedouin, all of that at that time, most of the people are Bedouin, you know, they move from place to place looking for yes, them. yes, so, they're Bedouin. So now, if he want to move, he will look for somewhere where it's a green. Now, that is Syria, makes sense. That is maybe Jerusalem, that makes sense. But to go all the way to Mecca, which is very far and it's a desert, that's stupid. Yeah, you know, if we if we if we look for if we go in Google, let me see if I can open Google. Hold on, if we open Google. And we look at Google Earth. 
map let us do that I hope my internet will not go slow um, if we go to Google Earth just to show people how, how how this desert is ugly I mean this is really ugly desert it's not like a, a place to uh, uh, to visit or to have fun or you know how you can survive let us see all right we go to Mecca all right guys look with me in this land why in the world anyone he have a brain little brain he will come and go through this land what is there let us let us zoom out and let us let us uh, focus in the route he should take to go to Iraq this is the land he have to pass to go to Iraq look with me he have to go from Mecca here all the way through this land all the way to Iraq okay now let us zoom in in that land a little bit so we can see the nature of this land it doesn't matter what time a human being is a human being and they are not stupid he knew and no and right away when you see the desert you try to avoid it why in the world I want to go here do you see guys what is this this is thousands of kilometers they are dead and dry nothing lived there look at this let me see if I can go down in the ground if there is any road or anything I don't think so drag to enter street maybe this here I don't know yeah let us show you a picture here there's a picture let us show you a picture why in the world do you want to go there <laughs> I mean, what? What is this? You know, he's crazy. This he's is gone. this is a dead land. You know, this is there's nothing. There's no water. There's no yes, river. It's, it's absolute dead. Earth. How how they will live? How they will survive to pass through this? You know, you see, even in the time of Muhammad, the Arab when they go to to Syria, they walk in this direction here. They don't go to Iraq from here. They go first in the in the like in this route where a little bit more green and they can find water in their way. You know, so they go from from here, here, all the way to, and then they go to Jordan, and they go then to Syria, Damascus, etc. They don't go in the desert like that. This is an empty desert. Actually, in Saudi Arabia, they have the most dead desert in the world. This is called Arab actually. Actually, what I understand that if if he move uh, from the map that what I see to down Marka. Abraham must be on cracks. Yeah, he uh, must be. Yeah. Of course, unless he is mentally ill or something, he will look for uh, uh, oasis and where he can uh, get water for his flocks. And uh, he this can, is uh, nowhere. He, he can. He, he will never be in Mecca. You, uh, nowhere. Nowhere. You heard of Arab al Khali, right? Arab al Khali. Yes. Yes. Arab al Khali guys mean. The empty desert, which means nothing lived there. Yeah. So, yeah. like, if there is some rain happen once every one hundred year, the 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 Arab, but they, they take a picture of it because it's amazing. They they rain in the in the empty quarter. It's called the empty quarter desert because simply nothing can survive there. This is a pure, soft sand. Nothing live there. Look at this sand, guys. Here, here, the heat during daytime is is like an, an what oven? Oven is nothing. Oven is nothing compared to this the, this uh, the desert. This is nothing. Uh, uh, there's yeah, no yeah. water. There's no rain. Rain happened maybe once every uh, twenty years. Uh, 30 it's, years. Uh, it's around one hundred twenty degree Fahrenheit. It's you see, they, they cannot. Yeah, actually, yeah, in, 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 in Saudi Arabia, in Saudi, you cannot even walk for a day. In Saudi, you cannot. If, Right. So what, yeah. what you can what walk? What walk? You cannot survive half hour if you don't have uh, shelter. Yeah, yeah. The flock will die. Yeah. His, sh his ships will die in the desert. They cannot reach from uh, Syria to Mecca because uh, even you cannot walk for one day because it's around uh, 125 degree Fahrenheit. 
even at well, night here is dead. Yes. Because even at night is dangerous here. There's, you know, it's. Uh, yes. Uh, look at this. <laughs> uh, Abraham, he will come to here. I mean, what kind of stupid idiot he is to walk in this desert. You know? Why you want to do that? And you have your animals and you have your wife with you and you have your children with you. I mean, this is stupid. And he's alone. Imagine the danger of you walking and the beast and the animals and you know uh, the, the, the Middle East is full of hyenas and wolves and they will attack your animals and there's no guns at that time and Abraham is alone and you have two babies, they are children. I mean, <laughs> yeah, and there are dangerous snakes. This, this, uh, every, you know, the desert is very is scorpions. A, is a yes, very scorpions. deadly is a very deadly place, you know, and the, even yeah. even cold there in winter is extreme because at night it's so cold. You see the desert. There's a unique thing about it. In night, it's very cold. Yeah. In the daytime, it's very hot, and this is in the winter time. Yeah. However, in the it's summer, in the summer time, in the summer time, the the night is fine, but the the day is extremely scary. You no. Know? Uh, you can burn your hand in in Saudi Arabia if you park your car outside, and you try to open the door with your hand. You know. Without using uh, gloves or something, you will burn your hand because the, the if you try to sit in the seat, you will burn. <laughs> the seat of the car will be burning. Uh, you know, there's many videos you can see in YouTube uh, how people they cook their food not in the stove. You can break an egg literally in the yard outside, and it's going to be cooked in a minute. It's like you are having it in the stove. Uh, if you if you uh, uh, I remember even myself, you know, I was in Saudi Arabia and uh, I, I, you know, I, I have some clothes to wash. So I turn off the machine, you know, it was like, it's not like automatic as like this time, you know, it's like, uh, you know, a simple machine. So I said to myself, let me finish. Oh, it. Did, yeah, no, no, I don't know. I don't remember. Like it's, it's an old machine. I, I said, let me turn okay. it off. When I come back, you know, I will finish it. So I turn off the machine. I came back. The water is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Vibrate it. The water is gone. The machine is under, like uh, you know, it's like a room outside in the uh, in the court hosh, you know. So yes. it's exposed to heat. The machine is exposed to heat. So I turned oh, the machine oh off. Gosh. I came back. I found my clothes dry like rocks, as if you are. Uh, yeah, as if you are. Of course, of course. Yeah. This is inside the machine, and the machine is full of water. I just turned the machine off, and the machine is full of water. The water is gone. This is yeah, it's evaporated yeah. because the temperature is extremely, extremely Hot. scary. During days, either. so imagine this guy, time, yeah. he want to walk here all the way to Saudi Arabia right away. Any anyone, any uh, any person who is coming from, uh, he, he live his life with growing animals, etc. He knew right away that the first thing he should do is to find water. The first thing. Yeah, he need to have horses. Yes, and he have to because carry water with him, and he have to find water in his way. Not only for him, because remember. Not only for him walking, flocks. he have any, he have animals, you know, because he has thousands of sheep. Yeah, and they have they have to eat the grass. Owls. You have Owls. to feed them. Yeah. You know, you have to feed them. It's not only you, you know. Of course. So the the he the, survives, the logic you know, it is difficult. Yeah, the logic it of this have. is a stupid. You know, yeah, the logic well, is stupid. like uh, the the desert of Syria. Uh, we can we don't even we don't we cannot call it really desert compared to Saudi Arabia. We can we, they call it Badia, you know, which means the step of the desert. So it is logical for him to go in Syria for there, what is called desert, nothing to compare to Saudi Arabia. It is not really a desert, totally empty, there's no water, there's etc. There is, but it's still the dry land. But here you will notice in your way there's rivers you can you can get yeah. water from, there is a spring of waters. Uh, he can water his flocks. Yeah, he can survive his easy. Family, yes. He can survive easy. And it's of logical course. that for sure he heard about the Greenland here in the, in the Mediterranean. So very normal because remember, remember through history the Babylon, they attack many time the the the, the you know the, actually Syria was was part of their empire, right? Yes. The Syrian in certain time they con they conquer all even Syrian even, is part of Babylon. Yes. Yeah. So now yes, they knew already many times Babylon yeah, but, is Syria. Yeah, so they knew in already Iraq, they knew already Iraq and part of Syria. Yeah, but this is mean they knew already all the ge ge geography about this land. So they knew here it's a green and a lot of trees, a lot of mountains, a lot of water. 
so it's very normal that whoever have animals in this area he will immigrate to this area for this is where the water and the green is you know okay people who live in the desert okay. usually they stay in the desert because they cannot get it close maybe they are from different nation those people they will not okay. allow them to come here you know okay because there is people here they will not allow you to get in if, if the land is occupied but if the land is empty then it's very normal for this anyone who have an animals who want to make a good living he move to the green area like uh, why always this area is concentrated with population here because simply this is where it's a green here it's empty there's nothing if you go right now to Syria here this is empty there's nobody those there's, yeah. there's no cities all the population like let's say if Syria is 20 million you will find maybe 18 millions of them are in this area because it's green area because it's the green even now because cities they based on city water you know how you want to how we want to give them water how they want to drink and and, and you know and water in the Middle East is always a problem always because water is not too much to con consider to the population you know uh, yeah. so they have a, like Saudi Arabia it's a 1 million kilometer 1 million square kilometer almost but Saudi Arabia the population is less than 20 million as a real citizen the rest are workers there but uh, Saudi Arabia is not a, 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 a country where you, everywhere you can live all of this is empty there's nothing there's nothing there's no cities you see yeah. here there's no cities this is all is empty there's nothing yeah because uh, it's uh, dead desert it's very yeah. dry there's nothing there's nothing you know the, the yeah, oil yes, the, there's nothing the oil it's, now it's, it's giving them desert. life but still it's a desert there's no there's no yeah. it, the one liter of uh, water in Saudi Arabia is more expensive than one liter of gas as I remember I don't know what now it is so yes yeah I, I, I used to fill up my gas uh, uh, the the water I think it was like uh, uh, almost half the price I mean the, the gas half the price of water they have a lot of uh, gas but they don't have water you know uh, and the water their, their water is uh, salty it's not uh, even good for drinking you know even their building yeah. when they build because their water is full of salt, full of salt. So when they build the house, a, a very nice villa. After two years, the, the villa have a lot of cracks. Why? Because the sand and the water, which are using for mixing the cement, is salty. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's yeah, salty. Then after a while, the, the salt yeah, will, okay. will damage because it's a salt. That's why in this we can well, we come into conclusion that Abraham never build Makkah. That's why. They say that uh, uh, Adam, uh, uh, I mean Ad uh, Adam, Came he built Mecca. That's why they say yeah, that. They say they, Adam. They use an option. Yeah, Adam. Who said, built Mecca? This I was confused. Who built Mecca? Some scholars say the Kaaba. They don't talk about uh, building uh, Mecca. They talk about building the Kaaba. According to them, yeah. the first one it was Abraham. Yeah. Abraham, Allah, He sent him a stone. So uh, sorry, Adam. Yeah. Allah He sent the stone to 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 Mecca, and He yeah. placed the stone here in the in Mecca, and yeah. then Allah He sent down uh, Adam in India. Yes, in India, and right. she was in the. Uh, it's, right. I, I, I grew up listening to this history. Yeah, she was in uh, Saudi, and he was in India. Uh, actually, when you see that they they had uh, when a person doing it off seven times. Hmm. Uh, you can understand that even in the Hindu, they do it uh, counterclockwise. Uh, the, the Hindus clockwise here, uh, counterclockwise. In Karma, you do it counterclockwise. Yeah. Hindus do it clockwise. You can go and uh, search for it. It's just like Hindus also does. Here is also you can do mantras all day, just like. They have a song. They uh, it's the it, same. It, yeah. You are reciting the same verse again and again, again and again, again and again. According, but you do not according, understand. According to the Muslims, uh, Adam was sent in India, which is today Sri Lanka. So imagine this trip. Oh, look! Look at this, guys. This is Sri Lanka. This is Sri Lanka. Yeah, I just yeah. want to. Yeah, this is Sri Lanka. Really, you know, for those really who do not know where Sri Lanka, this is Sri Lanka in the map. And look where is Saudi Arabia. So now, Mister Mister Adam, the poor Adam. He have to cross the sea from Sri Lanka. I don't know how he can do that, and he's the first man. Remember, Adam is the first man. 
uh, you know what does that mean i mean there's no there's no ship <laughs> yeah how he is going to cross the sea so he has never learned he has never learned uh making sheep yeah he's just he's, 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 he's just made he's alone i mean this guy is alone how he can cross the sea so he does he even know how to cut a tree and <laughs> Because he's first, this is a made up story. Yeah, he crossed the sea supposedly, and then he went all the way through India because Sri Lanka supposedly is part of India at that time or consider. And then he went all the way, crossing all the way India. I mean, how many years that will take him? And then he cannot go to Saudi right away in the, in the ocean. Still, he have to go through Iraq because remember, he have to go around the route. This is the this is Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan today, Iran, all right? And then he go to Iraq, and then he go to Mecca. How many kilometers is that? If we measure it's it. Thousands of kilometers. If, if we measure thousands it. And thousands and Actually, we can measure thousands. it. We can measure it. Hold on. We can measure it because uh, okay. we can use the, the tool in, uh, what is the tool yeah. here? Hold on. Tools. 7,000 kilometers. Yeah, let's see. Here we go. If we make a straight line, which is impossible, you know, there's no way. Yeah. If you, he don't have a GPS and uh, there's no road. He have to go. This is here. Let us say here. Okay. This is alone. Where is the router? I didn't see the, the router tool. I didn't see the kilometers. I want to see it. Okay. Let's see. Runner. Okay. Here we go. Now I see it. I will show it to you in the screen, guys, so you can see with me. How many kilometers? Okay, let us say he is here. All right, okay. This is until now is 2,663. Okay, we stop here. Now he take another direction. Okay. Okay, no, I don't, I don't want that. I want to, I want to, I want to curve it. And imagine here that Mr. Adam, he is so smart, he knows the direction exactly how to go. I mean, how, I don't know how can, he can do that, you know. So this is 2,600 kilometers. Let's continue to make an, another route from here. And then he go all the way here. This is again. And some of the scholars said it took 2000. 80 years. 80 years. To get. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And now he is going to take another router. All right, and he will go from here to here. So the total is about uh, 7,000 kilometer. I, I guess, yeah, you know, 7,000 7, kilometers. And this is the poor Adam walking in his no. feet. No way, no way, you know, it takes and not only that, and not only that, Adam, he did that 40 times in his lifetime. Yeah, and all of this is what. Uh, because Allah, he put a rock here and he have to come and visit the rock and circulate around the rock. <laughs> I mean, who is the crazy? And why in the world Adam will leave Sri Lanka, which is so beautiful? Do you know how beautiful Sri Lanka, guys, is? Do you know how green Sri Lanka is? like the same story of Adam, of, of Abraham. Uh, yeah. Why somebody here live in this paradise? Because Sri Lanka is extremely green. I mean, here there's no way any human being can die. From hunger, yes, he can get what you want here. Yeah, here, your 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 uh, your animals survive. they will they will survive. Your uh, you know it's a uh, uh, it's amazing. So why people wanna die here? Doesn't make sense. You know, well, there's no way he cannot die here because he can get what he want. He can survive here. Everything is available. The water, everything. He can make even uh, a good shelter. It's a good weather there. You can survive there. It's uh, there's no way. It's a fantastic place, you know. This uh, this place is yeah, very is very green. You know, Sri Lanka is very bit. Actually, they have a problem. It's too much water. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's too much water. So, uh, the, why Allah did not bit his rock in Kaaba in Sri Lanka? At least something beautiful. You know, what about Malaysia? What about uh, Indonesia? You know, what what is unique about the Kaaba, Mecca, the desert, the dead place? There's nothing there. You know, it's just stupid. And the poor guy, he have to go 40 years in his lifetime, going all the way from Sri Lanka all the way to, uh, you know. And by the way, the people of Sri Lanka, they have big problem with the Muslims, in case you do not know. 
the Muslims in Sri Lanka are a small tiny minority but yet they are causing big problems in Sri Lanka as usual wherever the Muslims they go bloodshed go with them it doesn't matter where they go here we go the elephant of Sri Lanka <laughs> anyway Thank you, my friend, for calling. Let us see if, okay, thank uh, you. if somebody else yeah. will call. Th th thank you so much. Take care. Take I will care. pray for you. I always pray for you. Thank you, my friend. I always pray, and I, I always pray uh, to God that He can raise people like you because uh, it's just like uh, I got. Uh, even I know how to reach out to Muslims. I understand because for even it's good for Christians also. Do you know that because Christians they they have to come here and learn. Because uh, many Christians, they don't know how to answer. Because I remember when I used to get a Christian, I can easily confuse them. They don't know how to uh, bust me. They don't know. They don't even know how to. But, uh, they are ignorant. They don't read Bible. They don't read Quran and Hadith. Except a few people th that uh, always come here and uh, watch your videos. And I uh, advise uh, Christians, even they come here and watch your videos. Thank you, brother. You're welcome, my friend. Take care. You're the best. Okay. Take okay. Bye, bye. Well, we do our duty, and I hope people they they appreciate what we do, and they remember that you know. Uh, I spend many many hours of my daily life uh, teaching. In the same time, even when I close my internet, I mean, close my uh, my uh, my uh, broadcast, I'm not done. I have emails from people, I have Facebook, people asking me for help. It is endless. And you know, the funny, sometimes people are not even merciful. They think this guy, he have ability to stay uh, like awake 24 hours and he have time to answer everybody. Uh, but as I said, I do, I do my best. Uh, Everything in Islam it doesn't make any sense, but I mean at the end of the day When you speak to someone he claimed to be a believer Usually a believer from the kind of Muslims. He don't want to ask questions. He just believe he don't want and even the one who don't believe He said to himself. It's better for me not to say I am not believing in this garbage Because if I say so it's going to to, to cost me a lot Leaving Islam is is not an easy thing to do because there's death waiting threat uh, and not only this you know when you leave Islam uh, some people don't want to trust you because you are an ex-muslim so now you are not a Muslim and now you are not trustworthy because mm, we don't know this guy he might be a terrorist it might be um, you know lying because Muslims are allowed to lie you know what I mean so those who leave Islam for real, they really suffer. They suffer a lot. Their life is not easy. But still, it's worth it because it's better to leave Islam and live as a free man, have a true belief, have a dignity of yourself, not to fool yourself. And who cares about if the whole world want to say hi to me or not? Who cares? The Bible says, what the benefit if you win the world and you lose your soul, self or you lose your soul? I don't want to lose myself. I prefer to lose the world. The one who cares for the world, for the world he will go. The one who cares for saving himself, he, he will save himself. You see, uh, because of what I do, I have a very few number of people who I can call them friends uh, because even people don't even like to associate with me because man, this guy is dangerous uh, the Muslims might kill him they might attack his house they might shoot at him I'm not going to walk with him you know uh, this guy uh, the Muslims will, will be happy to so commit suicide in the front of his house so many people they are coward they stay away from you and they don't want to get too close to you but they don't care you know, yeah, because what I do is dangerous, absolutely. I have thousands and thousands of videos against Muhammad and his faith, books, 
videos. What, what else you can do? So some people, they are coward. They prefer to stay away. If you are a person who smoke, drink, go party, you will find 1,000 friends. The more, the more loves you are, the more you are beloved. Well, David Wood, he don't say Muhammad is an idiot liar. He don't. There's many people, they supposedly they fight Islam, but they don't say really words in a clear way. They are still uh, somehow poetically correct. They do not pronounce a true description of Muhammad. Do we have any Muslim here? Any Abdul? Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? We have the microphone open for the Muslims in case you would like to call. Anyone? Not even one Muslim? My book, Sex and Allah, is going to be done maybe by tomorrow. And then right after we will publish it. So you will have it in a few days maximum. And the German book is going to be out very soon too for those that are waiting for my German book. Uh, the book Sex of uh, Sex and Allah, I think, is going to be very popular between Muslims um, due to the nature of the book, and it's revealed a lot of secrets uh, Muslim themselves they never heard of before, as usual, you know, like where you get this from, where you got this from. That's what they will say to you. You will see it with reference. Yeah, finally this book is uh, is uh, finished. You know, it took me a lot of time to to finish it. Any Abdul? Yeah, when when we publish the books, please don't forget to share with your friends. And actually, my books right now, uh, I appreciate people who share and tell their friends about it. Because remember, uh, you know, the books when people buy my books, not only they are uh, getting the knowledge, uh, you support what I do. All right, I don't talk much about uh, giving donation. Uh, but for sure donation and the books is how we sponsor our I sponsor myself in what I do uh, so share the books with your friends and those who like to help us in donation we appreciate them too where is the Abdul I mean why we cannot find the Abdul what is the problem I'm not going to ask you a question I want the Abdul to call me and he choose the best topic to prove to us Islam. Anyone? I will not ask you a question. You tell me, what do you want to say to us? You tell us how you can prove to us that Islam is coming from the true God. Anyone? Yeah, by the way, if you order my books, don't forget to make a, a review after you finish reading it and make an honest review. If the book is not good, say it's not good. Don't do what the Muslims do. The Muslims, when they review a book, they don't even buy the book. They did not even read the book. They give it review. Don't do that. If you find my books fantastic, say it's fantastic. If you say it's a garbage, say it's garbage. Don't. Don't say things just because, uh, oh, he's a Christian, I'm a Christian, I'm going to sponsor him. We don't do that. Be honest. 
there's many videos made by Muslims asking Muslims to go and post false review of my book they thought if they do that people will not buy my books you know like the especially my book in German in, uh, in German language the Muslims they made many videos uh, okay okay translation go right now brothers and sisters give him one star in the Amazon his book is the link is under the video this big Christian prince he is you know fighting Islam he is the enemy of Allah like what the heck and they thought by doing that people will not go and read my books hmm? Somebody's asking me to uh, explain the uh, the end asking pray to Allah My friend stones they uh, they say assalamu alaikum to Muhammad Haza hajarun yuhibbuna wa nuhibbuhu When Muhammad he walk in the street stones they say to him assalamu alaikum <laughs> Have you ever heard of such a madness? Stones they say to him, Assalamu alaikum. And yet, the Muslims they want to convince us that Islam is a religion, makes sense. It's not their prophet, he is, uh, you know, is a person who lost his mind and he's saying stupid things. You walk in the street and stones say to you, Assalamu alaikum. Are you sure? It happened to me the other day. I went to the bathroom, I heard something. But later I noticed it was not somebody speaking to me, it was gas. Any Muslim want to call us? Oh, by the way, anything here we say, we we prove it. All oh, what you need to do is just to challenge me to prove what I say. Any Muslim? Anything I say, it has to be proven. So feel free to call us and say, hey, you did lie. Show me where it says that. What do you think? Any Muslim? Why we are not lucky these days? Hmm? A challenge for all the Muslims who is going to call us. What a shame. You Muslims are not really proud about your religion no more. No, Abdul? No, man. I'm sure that they are convinced that Allah is God. This is why they want to call. Where is Yusuf's state, the Dean Show? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I receive a line. Now I receive a question from a Christian who is asking question. Why in Islam it says kill non-Muslims? My friend, those who say those things is not true. The Prophet himself, he had sex with the Christian women. <laughs> Not true. My friend, they are lying to you. Not true. Oh. Anyone? Uh, yeah, yeah, we are doing the proof. Actually, all my books now are proofread. Uh, uh, there's Quran and science it was not done uh, correctly as a proofreading in the beginning but we fixed that the problem is I asked somebody to do proofreading and actually I paid, paid that person but obviously uh, that person was a liar did not do any work and I trust that uh, he did the proofreading so when I publish it I found that there's many errors but then we fix even that you know we did the proofreading again and everything is fixed so now all my books actually they are very well uh, done as a proofreading. All right, so don't worry about it. And if you find any error, uh, if you find, like in the coming new books, let me know. But I think it's uh, it's filtered very well. 
and you know proofreading is a must for everybody even those who they are English is their first language uh, this is something everybody do any Abdul Any Abdul? No Abdul? Tamara, you speak English. So how come, Tamara, each time you talk, I have to fix your English to you? How come? Most of you, actually, your English is improved after you came and listened to me. That's true story. You can find the reference for it in Sahih al-Bukhari. What do you mean lie? The Prophet says so. Oh, you want to show you? Okay, call me. I will show you the reference tomorrow. You want to debate me? There's no way you will debate me and you will win. You and who? All of you, all of you. Uh, Lila, Lila. Hey, who are you, Lila, Lila? Lila, Lila, you are an ex-Muslim, right? Aren't you the same person who used to be a Muslim? Lila? You are next Muslim, right? Oh, oh, what happened? Are you or I'm wrong? A different name. Because I remember there's a name that was Leela. It used to come and argue with me, something like this. No way. Oh, okay, so wrong person. All right. Sorry, friendly fire. All right. So where is uh, where is the Abdul? Guys, any one of you, the first one who will bring me Abdul to call me and debate me, I'm going to uh, make you an admin in the chat when we are not doing broadcast. So you can maintain the chat when there's nobody here. That's the deal. What do you think? In the top of that, uh, Allah, he might reward you and give you extra reward Allah knows best remember Okay, who want to bring me Abdul and I will make Allah give him a corner lot in the heaven Do you know the story about the corner lot who, who know the story about the corner lot Muhammad he promised in the heaven There's a guy his name Abu Dahdah Abu Dahdah, he have a farm. So Allah Messenger, he told Abu Dahdah, Hey Abu Dahdah, what about I, you, I, you give me your farm? He have a nice farm, you know, it's full of trees. You know, this is a desert area, so to have a farm full of trees, palm trees, that means you are really worthy. So Muhammad told him, Abu Dahdah, Habibi, what about you give me your farm and I will give you a corner lot in the heaven? <laughs> The stupid Abu Dahda, he gave him his farm and he went to his wife. He said, guess what? She said, what? He said, I got a, I exchanged my farm for a corner lot in heaven. <laughs> Guys, who want to give me, who want to exchange his house with me if I give you a corner lot in the heaven? I own a corner lot in the heaven, next to 7-11 in the heaven. Who want to get that? Huh? You give me your house, especially if your house, like if you live in uh, next to the beach, you know, front, uh, beach front. I mean, that would be amazing. Who want to do that? Huh? I will give you, I promise you, I will give you a very nice corner lot in the heaven. You can see a very, all, you can see actually, this corner is like a, it's like a high mountain. You will see all your neighbor's females when they are taking shower naked. What do you think? What do you mean serious? Yeah, serious. Oh, Allah, he promised us corner lot in the heaven. So how come Muhammad, he can promise corner lot? I cannot. What's wrong? It's halal to Muhammad, not halal to me?
يعني يا عبدول Look like today we are out of Abdul. There was a guy, he was he keep saying when I call me, when I call me, when I call me. And I keep saying to him, okay, call me when I'm alive on air, but here we go. We cannot find him. Let me try to find this guy. His name Adum Bukhari. Look like you don't want to have a corner lot and I'm trying to help if you want a corner lot you know feel free Allah he can give you a very nice corner lot and you know ask uh, many people who already got their corner lot we are not this is not a scam this is real there's many people who believe in Allah Allah give them a corner lot uh, not to mention that the house you will get in the heaven one brick is made from gold and one brick is made from silver. I mean, what do you want more? I cannot wait to get a house, one brick made from gold and one make from silver. And in my house, a river of wine will go through. I mean, that's amazing. Hmm? Anyone? Yeah, they will call me exactly. They will call me after I finish broadcast and then they will say, Christian Prince, where are you? They will post that in the text. Where is the guy? His name is Abraham today. Did he take vacation? Where he go? Hmm. Yeah, but in the heaven of Jesus, remember, they don't, there's no gold and silver, no river of wine, milk, hmm? no naked women, boys. There's no endless penis. There's no sex magazine, as Allah, he promised. Is that correct, Abu Abdul Suleiman? Is that correct that Allah, he promised you long penis? I mean think about it this Allah he think about everything to the point he was like this those Arabian men they will go to heaven but yet their penis is small huh I need to fix that I am no way I'm going to send them there to heaven and yet their penis is small so what we will do so Muhammad he come with a solution brothers and sisters Aga, he told me that he is going to give you an endless penis I mean, not only he is exaggerating with his lies. I mean, okay, say bigger, say one meter, say two meter, three meters, but endless. What a human being will do with endless one? Your wife is next to you, and your penis in the seven galaxy. What you would do then? You make a U-turn with your penis? How you want to have sex with her? Let us see. Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm uh, Abd Suleiman. Hey, Abd, how are you? I'm fine. So, Abd, did you find the answer for the word seven? Is it sabu mean seven or it means something else? You have misunderstood me. I mean seven, but it reproduces itself. The number seven always reproduces itself, what like the week. The what week does that mean? Have have seven days because the week is always reproducing. So there were uh, indeed seven skies, but what's not meaning skies is the galaxy are always reproducing. Okay, well, this is this is the galaxy. This is the interpretation and, of who? This is the interpretation and, of who? And, and let us make it simple. Let us make it simple. Hold on, hold on. That reproducement is seven, not seven. This is this is this is this is the interpretation. But seven is. Abid, do you speak Arabic? Abid, do you speak Arabic? Yes, I speak Arabic. Okay, I will ask you a question. What is tabraka mean? What is what? Stabraka. 
Este vraca. Mm. It's full of energy. It's uh, gleaning in really? of, uh, energy. Who told you that? Yes. Who told you that? Yes. Who told you that? Why do you ask me such? Uh, the, I'm asking such, you because uh, you claim you speak Arabic and you know Arabic. I'm asking you. What, what, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a thing that emanates energy. Ah. And it's a cleaning. And where do you get cleaning. this from? Where do you get this from? Who told you that? Who told you that? I, I knew it. I knew it from, okay. from my childhood. <laughs> I don't recall where, where I. Okay, so, so are you saying the Quran will make you wear a clothes from energy? The Quran, what? The Quran saying will make you wear a clothes from electricity. It's not clear electricity, it's full of energy, rayoning in a yeah, but the Quran gleaning, says, but the Quran gleaning, says, gleaning, gleaning, but the Quran gleaning. saying that those are your clothes. So, how they are energy? What do you mean, energy? You wear a clothes from but, energy. Uh, why, why you have stopped me when I uh, was elucidating? The, I am not stopping you, I'm asking you. You say it, why, you say why, it, this is mean me, energy. Me, Everybody heard you, me, everybody heard you me, saying this is energy. Right. It says, it says, So now you say this is energy. You will wear a clothes made from electricity? I don't know. You say that the word is Tabraqa. You claim that you speak Arabic, which is false. You are an Algerian. You are an Algerian. You don't speak Arabic. So I'm asking you, the word is Tabraqa. What does it mean? Is you said it's mean energy. Okay, wonderful. The Quran says so you, are, you are going, you are going to wear, you are going to wear. Explain to me, explain to me. In the heaven, is from al -bariq, al -bariq, al -bariq. What does the bariq mean? Al bariq, it's something uh, we we uh, gleams. It's uh, ah okay. So now it's not energy no more. It was energy huh? before. It, it was energy a minute before. You, you told me it was energy a minute before. Now it's not energy. Is it energy or not? Uh, it's worthless to talk to you. You, uh, you have stopped me last time. And you stop this, Tabi. You, you're better. What, what, are you going to hang? Up? Are you going to hang up? Are you going to hang up? Answer. You said it is energy. Are you going to wear the clothes from energy? Why you ask me? Say, say, because you, you claim you speak you Arabic. I want to show everybody that you are a liar. You do not know what you. you what you know? What, you know nothing about Arabic. What is Tabraqa mean? You said it's energy. Everybody heard you. The Quran in chapter 18, chapter 18, verse number 31 says that you are going to wear clothes huh, from Istabraq. You will wear clothes from energy? Clothes that are gleaming, that are gleaming. But you said it's mean energy. A second ago, a second ago, Abdul, a second ago, you said it is energy. You should not, did not say a gleaming. What happened to the energy? So you do you delete the first one? Is it wrong? Do should we move for the gleaming, not energy no more? What happened to energy? Are we going to throw it away? It's a gleaming, clear, German, gleaming. So clear, so so gleaming. it's not energy. Do you agree? It's not energy. Is it energy? Is it energy or not? Give me the answer. You told me before it's energy. Things that emanate energy. That's what what the closely accurate. It's the. A thing that emanates energy. Oh, those clothes they make energy. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, and who is the one who explained that to you? Where do you get this explanation for the word? From who? From the context we. Where, where, the, okay, the, how the, you? Uh, the, so, the do the Muslims agree with you with this, or they are because, the only Muslim? The, listen, the listen. Is, is that the? Energy. Are you the only Muslim? Energy. Are you the only yeah. Muslim who believe that this is a clause of energy, or there's other Muslims believe in the same? There is, there is on my okay, name, name them for me. Name them for me. Who is the scholar agree with you? I don't know. I don't know. You do not there, know. There, so, what, there so, you are lying to me. So, you are lying to me. You are in the corner so, as usual. You do not know. You never heard anyone saying that, but you claim that this is what the Muslims believe. So, you cannot name for me one Muslim who believe in the same as you believe because you are a liar. You are fabricating things. So, oh, so Google it. Go Google it. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, I guys, Google it. Google it. it. Okay, I'm going to Google it. Okay, okay, I'm going to Google it. Guys, did he say Google it? Did he say Google it? Okay, I will Google it. All right, here we go. Huh. I will go to Google, peace upon him, in the front of your eyes. Are you looking at the screen? I will Google no, it. No, no, I'm not. I have a slow, poor connection. I'm no problem, no problem. This is the dictionary. I, the, I did Google I it. The, I did Google I it. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, don't cry now. Don't make a drama. 
this is the slow collection everything is everything everything in muslim, everything in muslim countries is a slow that is not my fault listen listen read with me read with me read with me abdul stupid abdul read with me it says it says shut up you stupid idiot donkey istabraqa dibajun ghalidun aw harirun samik manisujun bi khuyut adh-dhahab so why you are a liar? The mic is yours. Do you see what dictionary says? Go ahead. Why you are lying? I'm not lying. Well, why, why? Why you have stopped? Why you have stopped? Because you are stupid. Time. You are saying why? things have nothing to do with my topic. Now answer. Why you lie? You say this is energy and this is a, a, a link. It's drinking. not. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. It says that this, this is a fabric. It says I, that. I did, from did you, the, did you from tell me, word barrier, Abdul? Barrier. Abdul, stupid. Did you say to me that this is a fabric? No. You said to me this is energy. Everybody heard you. So who are watching uh, your is, uh, show are not. This is uh, fabric. This is fabric or this is energy. This is fabric or energy. It's a thing that uh, that is full of energy and it's where, where, where it says the word energy. Here we go. This is dictionary in front of me where it says energy. Show me. I'm reading with you. I'm not. Uh, uh, okay. I can't see. I'm, I'm, not, I'm going uh, to give you the link. If uh, I open Firefox, I am doing no problem. I'm going to give you the link in the chat. In the chat in Skype. Uh, in the chat. In the I, uh, I already closed it. I don't. Uh, I don't see the chat. I don't. Uh, no problem. Uh, hang, uh, up. hang up. Hang up. Hang up. I read it. You liar. Hang up. No problem. Hang up, lie, read it, and give me give me your answer. Stop telling me I'm not reading the chat. It's in the front of you. Liar, filthy liar, no self-respect. Suddenly, this is this is the, the word became energy. If we check any any Muslim translation, you will find one of them saying this is energy. Never. This guy is in hashish. You know what hashish those Muslims in Algeria and Morocco they are obsessed with hashish chapter 18 verse number 31 where is the energy where is the word the shiny blinking whatever what is that talking about but they have no dignity they fabricate the mean of their Quran just to cover the fine lie they have for us read with me it's a green you will wear a green garment of fine silk where is the energy and where is the shiny and where is the where is that what is that liars they have no self-respect in english here we call this in english what do you mean oh you mean the link in uh, the dictionary in english no we can do that no problem Actually, there is a uh, the same website Al Maani. They have hold on, they have uh, English uh, page. Let us do this. Okay. All right, this is the Islamic dictionary, and here we will get the word istabraqa. Read with me. Istabraqa is Quran word. What is the meaning? Read it. Do you see anything about energy? Do you see it? Liars. If we go the same word yesterday, we were talking about Sabah. Let us type the word Sabah just to show you how, how, how they lie. They have no dignity. This is the word Sabah. Seventh. One of seven equal part of something. A part of something consists of seven parts. Seven. What a liar. This is the meaning of number seven, and this is in the Quran. 
seven in the Quran, Quran word, seba, seven, seba, seven, 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 seven. This is all is the word seven. This liar, he said, it's reproduced itself. What does that mean? What reproduce? What reproduce have to do with the number seven? It says it is seven. Suddenly the, the word seven became reproduced. Like and this guy, you know, you cannot talk to him about anything because he have he have no like he don't give you a reference of what he's saying. Hey, it means this. You take it, you take it or leave it. How, why, it doesn't matter. It means this. What a donkey. And then he scream and he shout. And why you stop me? Prove me wrong. The same as I give you dictionary. Give me dictionary. Show me what you said from dictionary. Show me, show me one interpretation of Muslims agree with you. Yeah, there's other Muslims believe like me. Where? If we go right now and we check this chapter in the Quran, the one it says is tabraqa, which means it is a green clothes made from silk. And it's made actually, by the way, Sabra Sabraqa is a is a fabric made in Iran. Allah is going to buy it from Persia. Imagine. So, as long as this is the case, where we can find one Islamic scholar or interpretation or a translation says that this is energy, or this is a plinking or a clinking, whatever he was saying. Where? This is Yusuf Ali. We show it to you. Let us see Shakir. Do you see it? Where is the word what he's talking about? Energy, electricity, big tal. Look like all the Muslims, they got it wrong except this Abdul. All of them, they are donkeys. He is the only mule. This is the only smart mule between the donkeys. Like at least get me one Muslims, he agree with you. Show me which one. Same for the word Sabah. If we go right now and search for the word Sabah, okay, how many Muslims agree with you that the word Sabah uh, does not mean seven, it means reproduction? What? What reproduction? It's about seven, seven days, seven days, seven, seven, seven skies. The week is seven days reproduction, the same as the week. The week re re reproduce itself. Who told you that? Are you stupid or what? Time does not reproduce itself, you donkey. The time goes, never come back. This is not reproduction. This is not babies. Time reproduce itself. So if, if today is Sunday, the next Sunday is reproduce of the Sunday today, that's when you're a donkey. This is a different Sunday. This is not the baby of Sunday. What's the reproducing? This is all is about number seven and all translation. Ambatat sabu sanabil. Okay, what does that mean? This is his copying from the Bible, by the way. Do you see it? The thief Muhammad. You see the word seven? So in order always to avoid giving you an answer, they start playing games. And the second you ask them, okay, show me a reference, he don't want to show you. This is the difference between us and the false followers of Muhammad. We show proofs, reference in the screen. We ask them to read, they don't want to read. From their scholars and from their Quran. And from their translation yet they don't want to accept their own reference not ours and they will not accept to provide us with any reference for they are liars ask yourself if this guy is a truthful why he don't want to give us one reference show us you see he can post right now in the text in YouTube one reference about what he said why he didn't do that? And I will open it, I promise. I will open it right in the front of your eyes. Give me the reference. And I will make everybody read your reference. But because you know that you are a liar and you have nothing.
This is what you did yesterday. Liars. A believer who have no reference of anything. His Quran have different meaning from all the scars, a meaning fit with him only. No, I am the one is fair. I'm asking you for reference, you coward liar. I am the one is fair. You're a potato. Otherwise, give me a reference. Get me busted. Let us let us do this. I'm to I'm going to you call me. I'm going to call you, and I will give you five minutes just to provide for me a reference to prove what you said. Otherwise, you have to admit you are a liar. What do you say? You agree? Or what you do, you read for me a reference. If you cannot provide me one reference, prove what you said, it's mean you are a liar and you are a scam. What do you think, guys? Is that fair? Is that fair? Let me call him. Give me the reference of what you said. Prove it. You don't want to prove it. You are a liar. Here we go. You don't want to answer. You don't want to answer. Answer, Abdul. Let us laugh. You don't want to answer? Coward. Okay, we got it. You have no, no reference. You are a liar. You are making your own false statement. Nothing in you. Absolutely nothing in you. This is not the first time and not the last time Muslims do that. All what we are asking the Abdul for, when you say something to us, prove it. You see the Quran, the book of the Abdul itself says, Bring your proof if you are truthful. Bring your proof if you are truthful. Who's saying that? Allah. So respect Allah. Respect your God. Is it this is your Quran? Tilka amanihum qul hatu burhanakum in kuntum sadiqin. Bring your proof if you are truthful. Chapter 2, verse 111. So respect your God and do what Allah He say. Abdul is stupid. Are you stupid? I showed you the dictionary. It says Saba, not Saba, you donkey. And by the way, Saba and Saba is the same. You see how donkey you are? Read with me careful. Uh, guys, this guy is, is, is official donkey. This is Saba. Abdul, do you see it? I did not show you Saba. I showed you Saba, 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 donkey. Do you see it? Saba, do you see it? Saba, not Saba, not Saba, Saba, not Saba. What a stupid Algerian. Do you see? This is Saba. Saba, not Saba. I did not say to you Saba. I said Saba. It is Saba. I'm showing you Saba, the one you choose for me. It says it means seven. Do you see it? What a stupid people, man. Is that your dictionary? And it says their Quran words. Ah, it's not worth it. No, it's worth it. We got you busted already. You call, you answer. Who care? We got you busted already, Abdul. Face it. People are laughing at you. The word seven does not mean seven. You're right. And when we ask you, show us one reference of Islamic books, say that this is, does not mean seven. You cannot. And look, look how he changed the words. Yesterday he said to us, No, it doesn't mean seven. No, it doesn't mean seven. It doesn't mean seven. No. Today he said it means seven, but mean reproduce itself. He changed his words. Go and watch yesterday when he called me a love, how he changed and compare. Liars. Who is the Muslim when I call? Call me and show me your reference so everybody will laugh. Don't give me a false statement. Show me one scholar agree with you. Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain, Ibn Abbas. Name it. Who is your scholar you agree with him? Not even one? No wonder. I wasn't expecting you to provide me anything. 
liars liars will end in fire anything I say to you if I don't provide the proof from Islamic reference then you tell me I am lying but I am showing you from your books Abdul and you could not show me anything seven Saba is seven with the produce reproducing but Saba is without producing <laughs> guys Saba is with the producing Saba without I never heard of this definition before I mean this is amazing it's are you stupid or what are you stupid don't you or what you idiot you never heard of something is called the ta the ta the ta at the end is for what do you know what do you know what the ta is for what there's a book it's called Arab al Quran Abdul go and buy it and read it and laugh at yourself you are a little tiny donkey and one day you will have a good future as a as a mule and uh, Rene Rene Saba is not the same as Saba my friend it's not the same let us see let us see how the scholars understand Saba it look like Ibn Kathir he need to learn Arabic from this Algerian boy you know this Algerian boy he will teach Ibn Kathir let us see okay it's chapter 2 verse 1 number 29 chapter 2 verse number 29 let us see Ibn Kathir Ibn Kathir do you speak with Arabic Ibn Kathir ah, I don't think so stupid Ibn Kathir he doesn't know Arabic let us see <laughs> we will send Ibn Kathir to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, Algerian school to learn from the French occupation to Algeria those are not even Arab those are Algerian they are barbarian they have nothing to do with the Arabic all right let us see how Ibn Kathir understand the number seven see this is seven huh Sabah this is not Sabah Abdul, this is seven, seven. Let us see what he said. Read Ibn Kathir, Abdul. Read Ibn Kathir is a donkey man. He doesn't know Arabic. Are you talking? What is, are you kidding me? You are showing me what Ibn Kathir is saying. This guy is donkey. He do not know Arabic. Only kids from Algeria know Arabic. Read carefully with me. هو الذي خلق لكم وما في الأرض جميعا ثم استوى إلى السماء فسواهن سبع سموات. Ibn Kathir. It is he, then he stowa. The Muslim they don't translate the stowa. I don't know why. Because they don't want to say to what it is. He left himself up, up to the sky, to the heaven, and he made them seven heavens. What is the producing and reproducing? And seven became producing. It says seven. Let us continue. And made them, meaning that he made them seven heavens. Do you see it? He didn't say he reproduce, reproduce. He made them seven heaven. Seven, the number is seven. Seven is number seven, not reproduce. Explanation more, more for the slow Abdul. And made them seven heavens. He and he is knower of everything, meaning his knowledge, whatever. Stupid thing. Do you see it? Now he continue here. He connect that. In chapter 29 they jump to other verse in the Quran and he say chapter 41 verse number 9 to 12 he says here then he left up to the heaven when it was a smoke after what after what after he did this guy he said to us the day the day in the Quran does not mean day does not mean day it doesn't mean that read with me he created the earth in two days and set up rival in worship with him that is the Lord that exists and he placed therein the earth firm mountains from above it the Quran teach that Allah he placed the mountains and the top of the earth this is how stupid the one who made the Quran he believed the Quran he believed that after Allah created mountains he put mountains and sorry uh, the earth he put the mountains in the top of the earth it's like a you put in your phone in the top of the table this is how stupid Islam is Mountains is from inside the earth, not something you place on the earth. Let us continue. And he pleased it and measure therein. It is substance. All right. In four days, this guy he said, Those are not days. 
i.e. those days four days were equal to the length of time equal to the length of time do you see it for all those who ask about is a creation then he is Tawa, which means he left up to the heaven again when it was a smoke and said it it uh, said to the earth come both of you willingly or unwillingly they both said we come willingly then he finished them as seven heavens do you see it not reproducing so when we ask you where you get the words seven mean reproducing you don't give us answer this is Ibn Kathir he's a donkey he don't speak Arabic what about the Jalalain he's a donkey too Qurtubi hmm? all the scars of Islam all of them are donkey I agree I never saw a Muslim scar not a donkey he's right he's right <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? Learn how to fool yourself, Abdul. When you say something to somebody, at least give reference. You know, otherwise people will laugh at you. You said that the word seven mean reproduce. You show us from the dictionary. The Quran, maybe the Quran mean this way. Okay, show us which scholar saying that. No problem. Show us. It's not just a word you say and you 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 run. You know, a Muslim is the same as like a, if you have a, a, you know, a little child and he want to go to the bathroom, he don't want to do it in his diaper. So like suddenly he want to he wanna dump it out. You know, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And then you rush with him to the bathroom. And then the poopoo all is over. You ask him, why you put the poopoo here? He said to you, prove it's poopoo. It is poopoo. It's in your legs already. So we ask him, you poopoo, the one you are giving us, what is the proof you have that this is what it means? He don't want to give us a proof. No dictionary, no reference, no scholar. It is just his own opinion. And he don't even speak Arabic. Istabraka mean uh, lighting, lighting. Yeah, really? <laughs> no wonder. Even Muhammad do not know how to read Arabic and speak Arabic. So what do you expect from a Muslim? Who is a Muslim here? He speaks good Arabic. I want to ask a question about Arabic language. Do you remember the guy who made a video to refute me supposedly about uh, the Quran? His name uh, Learn Arabic Quran. And I got him busted. This guy, he stopped talking about me. He learned his lesson. And I asked him, I challenged him in Facebook to come and debate me. The coward, he never even get it close. He claimed that he speak, that he's an Arabic teacher, but he was not there. He can claim knowledge in front of a bunch of dummies who don't speak Arabic and they have nothing to do with Arabic. Any Abdul? Anyone? Hello? Any beautiful Abdul? Well... <laughs> I don't mean really to bust him. I mean, I'm just asking him for proofs. All that's all. Show me what you say. You know, you says feel any Muslim feel free to say to me whatever you want. One requirement is required. Show me. You say to me it's mean that, but you don't want to show me where it's coming from. That's 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 mean you are lying. Oh, what we are saying, show us. I show. Hey, see, when I say something, I show it to you on the screen. Give me a link we will read it together everybody will see it together as simple as that anything else is garbage don't waste my time you as a muslim to learn something you have to learn from your books quote for me the book of the, the name of the book and we will read it together all right 
Why you don't want to take you know quote for me the reference from your books? Is it impossible? I quote for you, I show you. Just do the same. But you know, liars. Liars, liars will end in fire. What you can do, bad boy, bad boy. And you know, after I finish my broadcast, you will see the Muslim posting down in YouTube. The Christian prince, the liar, coward liar, he lied to you, he fooled you. Like, what the heck? I was here for six hours, seven hours. Why you don't call me? Why you don't call me right now and show me your energy? The word is Tabraka became energy. Unbelievable. This tabraka is energy? Are you sure? Yes, because I'm very sure. Madness. Any smart Abdul would like to give us a call? Just to let you know, if you give us a call, Allah will bless you and will give you extra size, sizable penis. Which something you needed badly these days. This is the only God. He give reward. Very long penis, and that is a clear proof that Allah is must be God. I mean, who who else can do that except the true God? You know, false God cannot do that. False God will never fix your penis for you. It's going to stay small. Now in earth and later in heaven. I feel sorry for you. This is a clear proof that the only God is a true God is Allah. And look how Allah is loving and merciful because He cares for your penis, so He is going to exchange the size for your penis. You don't want to go there and with penis is small. Guys, anyone knows how, how tall a Muslim will be in the heaven? Anyone knows? How tall the Muslim will be? Who is a Muslim will tell me the answer? How tall the Muslim will be in the heaven? Any Muslim? 60 foot tall? Hmm. Okay, wait until my book come out. You will be surprised, my friend. You will cry from laughing. You are dreaming about the 60 foot tall. Keep dreaming. Just wait. I'm not going to share the secrets now. Any Abdul? All my life I wanted to be very tall. Very tall. And that because, you see, if you live in the fifth, sixth floor, mosquitoes still can't come to you. But if you live in the 50th floor and up, mosquitoes don't go up there I'm serious and that is the only reason if you are like you know very long tall person like 200 kilometer mosquitoes will never even reach to your eyes very annoying mosquitoes like going inside your nose or Allah he knows what he's doing man he is genius Allah knows best any Abdul? And what is going to drive you crazy when you see how tall you will be and how thin you will be? I mean, how you will be? You will be like a snake. <laughs> how you can stand if you are tall like that and that you are very thin? Oh boy. Hey, we told you about George and Majuj. We were not here. Watch it tomorrow again. Yeah, actually, it's uh, it's uh, getting late here to me, and as long as we don't have Muslim Abdul, except this dummy, stupid idiot, you know, who keeps saying to me things which is childless. Maybe better we better finish today. Uh, usually Monday I don't do broadcast, you know, but maybe, maybe I will do. Uh, subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. And you will receive a notification. Be sure, guys, that your uh, YouTube notification on my channel is 
uh, is on I think that's would be a notification for any YouTube uh, be sure it is on because if you don't have it on you will not receive invitation in case we are live on air all right so I want to say thank you for being here uh, we have enough for today and as you see we are dry with Abdul sorry for that maybe next time we do podcast Abdul will be here and it's going to be more fun until I see you again maybe tomorrow or the day after as I say tomorrow mostly I will not do but you never know so until I see you if not tomorrow Tuesday I wish you the best for the rest of the weekend may the Lord bless you and I pray for all of you to have a good wealth and health with your family and yourself Christ is Lord Islam is a very false religion made by the man for the foolish man and I am not a foolish are you I will leave the answer for you you give the answer thank you